Okay, can everybody hear? Oh, uh, Alex. Oh, right. Well, okay, that's why I've lost you. Okay, can uh, Kev? Can you nod your camera up and down? You got your headphones on yet, no? You got your headphones on. If you can hear me, um, can you nod your cameras? Okay, uh, I've got you, Alex, so that's all good. I can see you. And, okay, so, Nico, can you nod your camera up and down? Right, okay, you're two, thank you, and Kev one. Right, okay, perfect. So it'll be five minutes. Okay, so um, Nico, can you just brighten your picture a little bit and James, darken yours a little bit. Alex, darken yours a little bit. I've now changed the piece of paper. That's good. You're right. Kevin and Nico, you're good. Yeah, all three good. Yeah, like that, you're all good. Okay, so what I want is all three of you to give me something wide. Let's see what the best wide like arty shop for the school is it's probably going to be nico so nico go up a bit so we don't have the commentators in it that's it like that right that would be the wide so kev you're going to be um close right so you're going to be okay it's up to you two kev and nico 
right? One's gonna be tight and give me interest, and the other one does the wide. At the moment, Kev, you're gonna be tight and interest, but we can always swap those things around. Go nine and four. I'm going to go through Nico's camera and you're going to give me something interesting. Kev, you're going to give me something interesting and Nico is going to give me the wide shot. That's it, like that, Kev, that type of thing. Kids running around. Nico just darken one little nudge. Just one, one turn. That's good, that's good. We're all looking good. Yeah, that's good, um, Alex. Sixty seconds. Okay, one minute until we go, and I'm going to go to Nico, and and then. Kev, I'm going to come to you, and James, I'm going to come to you, um, Alex, I'm going to come to you, um, so what I want is um, something of interest from Kev and Alex. Okay, 15 seconds. 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good afternoon and welcome to the year 3 and 4. Fantastic that the weather has held and we're all here ready to go. Uh, we have our commentary team led by Mr. Carter and some of the Year 7s and you'll be hearing them all afternoon. So welcome, enjoy, and I hope uh, you have a wonderful experience. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us for Handcross Park's Lower School Sports Day. I'm Mr. Carter, and I am reliably joined in the commentary box this afternoon by a Year 7 pupil, Ollie Winterton. Hello. How are you feeling, Ollie? I'm feeling excited. This is going to be a wonderful day, and I'm sure we're going to see lots of good races. Certainly. And I think, you know, obviously you've experienced it as a pupil. How will the pupils be feeling at this point? They'll probably be feeling nervous but excited because this is a wonderful race, and I think they're all going to enjoy it. 
Absolutely. As you can see on the screens there, the pupils are uh, in their house marquees. Uh, the flag bearers were selected for particular impressive, impressive performances in PE and in sports. So leading out the Britons was Claudia, the Normans was led out by Etty, the Saxons were led out by Alex, and the Vikings were led out by Cecilia. So as you can see on the screens, lots of excitement amongst the pupils, the staff getting ready, and we should be ready to begin shortly. So the first event due to take place is the year four 600 metre finals. The girls will go first, uh, followed by the boys. This is an event that the pupils had to qualify for. Uh, all the year four children will participate in the 75 metres, the 200 metres, the house relay and two field events of their choice. And So the children have all completed 600 metre time trials in their PE lessons. Uh, the top eight boys and girls in each year group have qualified for this event. So the, you'll see the, the finals coming up shortly. Uh, it was forecast to rain this afternoon, but thankfully the rain has held off and it's staying dry. So Ollie, Ollie, any any particular event that you preferred, or I I was a big long jump person, and I personally quite like hurdles. However, I didn't qualify for hurdles. Okay, yeah, no, absolutely. I think you know the people should be feeling a mixture of excitement. You can see some cartwheels on the on the screen there. Hopefully, they have uh, they've done their their pre-race stretches. Not any last-minute injuries. Lots of warming up for high jump. I see a lot of jumping. Um, obviously, Ollie, can I ask which house you are in? I am a Norman and have been for a very long time. You are a Norman, but presumably uh, in your commentator duty, you won't be showing any form of bias. Okay, just a reminder as well that all points scored in each event go towards the house totals and these will be revealed during the presentations at the end of sports day. Uh, the overall Sports Day Cup will be presented at the final prize giving of term after all sports days are completed. Now, weather permitting, we're due to have another Sports Day Wednesday afternoon, uh, a Sports Day on Saturday afternoon for the year eights, and then at the final year seven Sports Day next Wednesday. But as I say, all weather permitting. Even if you come last, it contributes. One point could be the winning point. Absolutely. Every, every point, every race position finishes. So we are in position here for the... Uh, the year four girls, we're in position here for the year four 600 meter final girls. As you can see, the girls are in their blocks now. They are under starter's orders. Competing in this race, we've got Cecilia Sheldon representing Vikings. We've got Claudia representing Britons, Toyosi representing Saxons, Aya representing Britons, Lexi in lane five representing Britons. Etty Whale representing Normans, Connie Lunn representing Saxons, and Amelia Bjorn representing Vikings. The record for this race is 2 minutes and 15 seconds and 24 milliseconds, set by Danielle Akidi in 2019. So it's been held for a couple of years. So let's see if any of the girls can break that record today. Okay, the girls getting ready. Toyosi, Claudia, Cecilia, you can see on your screen there in a good stance, just waiting for starters' orders. So a massive thank you to the maintenance team. And the girls are off. Start on their, their trip round this 
beautiful track set in amazing uh, settings. As I was just saying, you know, massive thank you to the, the ground team for, for making this possible. They've done a fantastic job in getting all the lines drawn, the grass cut neatly, all the barriers and the marquees up. Looking wonderful. So here come the girls, as you can see, very serious looking faces. Ollie, over to you. They're, they're entering the 100 meters straight so far. It seems to be a Britain in front, running fast. Cecilia is catching up. Saxon shortly behind. And we have a exceeding pace here. Coming, coming, coming. Excellent, as they keep going now, we've got Toyosi just in the lead, followed by Lexi, but it's very close, very close. One more lap to go. Only just under 400 metres left to go. That was very quick maths, that Oliver, well done. Quick maths. Lexi Ford now striding out, out the front, followed closely by Toyosi. Excellent running by all the girls, quite a quick pace actually. Potential for a record to be broken here though. Fingers crossed, so they're going across the far side towards the back of the house tents, but as you can see, uh, the, the spectators are watching the girls come around now, cheering them on, as, as Ollie said earlier, every point counts. So it's, it's really important and it's lovely that the, the children cheer each other on and they're trying to egg them home to the finish line. Lexi is leading Toyo, she's slowly pulling away from Toyosa, although Toyosa is catching up. There seems to be a massive break and the two girls in front are really tearing up the competition. Yeah, fantastic. They're doing a great job. And I think, you know, what's lovely about Sports Day as well is you'll get pupils showing all signs of skill, resilience, determination, and I'm sure we'll see a lot of that today. Coming up to the last 100 metres straight. Now, Alexi is in front, closely followed by Toyosa, and a wee bit behind is the other competitors. It seems that Cecilia is just behind the person in first out of the other competitors, but she's overtaking now. Alexi is still leading out for it. Toyosa is doing a massive sprint. Can Lexi hold on? Cecilia is also doing a massive sprint. Lexi's sprinting now. Toyosa's coming up to the line. Toyosa's slowing down. She seems to have lost her pace. Lexi's exceeding. Lexi is going very fast. And Lexi has finished in first place, closely followed by Toyosa in second. And there's a push for third. There's a good fight going on between Cecilia, Etty, and Connie Lund, but it looks like Cecilia comes across the line in third place, followed by Etty and then Connie. A great effort from the girls. We've got Amelia Bjorn about to cross the line now, followed by Claudia. Brilliant effort from all the girls. And Aya showing brilliant resilience here. She's finishing off now. Fantastic running from all the girls. She'll be really proud of themselves. As Ollie said, they've earned valuable points for their houses. Well done, girls. Brilliant. Well done, Aya. Ollie, you've probably run that distance a lot more recently than I have, um, obviously me being older than yourself. Uh, tell me, how, the how will the legs be feeling after that? Uh, the legs will be feeling a bit of an ache because that is quite a long distance to run and at the pace they've run, that is really quite some going. Yeah, fantastic. You can see on the replay there, Lexi coming first over the finish line there. Fantastic running from Lexi. So she brings home first place for Britons. The girls there just recovering, just resting and some breathing tips from the game staff. Again, the game staff done a fantastic job at putting this all together, particularly Mr. Richards, all this organizing, uh, making sure that staff are where they need to be, making sure that all the events are mapped out, making sure that all the pupils have, have done the preliminary well to qualify in rounds. So uh, yeah, the game staff have done a fantastic job and it's not yet over. So what we're looking at here, it looks like we are looking Check at it. the ball throw, year three boys taking part in the ball throw. What a throw, that is a good throw. Yeah, we've been ably assisted by the year sevens who are helping Mark out there, which is fantastic. We could have a record broken today in ball throw. The record currently for ball throw is just about. be continued. I think we have to find out that record, Ollie. The record seems to be lost in the files of Doom, and we are now looking at the boys' 600 metre race, and they're off. Fantastic, so let's hope we have as good a race as we did the year four girls. The boys off to a strong start. 
Uh, year four boys, we've got Luke Graves in lane one for the Vikings. Noah Freeman in lane two for the Britons. Harry Hatcher in lane three for the Britons. Alex Long in lane four for the Saxons. Wilf Clary in lane five for the Vikings. Tommy Hodgson in lane six for the Normans. Alexander Eldeeb in lane seven for the Saxons. And Sebastian Pote in lane eight for the Vikings. The current record for this particular race is two minutes, seven seconds and 80 milliseconds set by Jacob Spears in 2018. What a stunning performance. So here we see they are just crossing the 200 meter mark and very close, quite closely packed in there as they as they round for the final lap. Bodes well for a close finish, hopefully. But Alex Long now just striding out in front of Alex LD, followed closely by Wilf Clary. Sebastian Pote is just behind Wilf Clary. We could see an overtake there, and it seems that Alex Long is still in front of Alex LD. Yeah, that, that fast stretch where you're a bit away from the spectators seems to be the hardest bit. Obviously, you're away from the support, but as you can see, the pupils really trying to encourage each other, cheer each other on. It's really lovely to see. You can see they're getting tired, but they're still pushing on. Wonderful performance. The field starting to separate slightly more now. Uh, Alex Long still out in front. Alex Deeg still pushing him quite hard. Looks like we've got Wilf Clary behind him and then Harry Hatcher in fourth at the moment as they round that final bend into the last stretch. We're coming up to 100 metres here. Alex Long is still in front, closely followed by Alex Eldeeb. Behind that, oh, somebody's just fallen over. Wilf Clary has stopped. Okay, that's a wonderful show of sportsmanship. I think that might have been Tommy Hodgson who stopped to check if he was okay, which is fantastic and again epitomizes what this day is all about. Brilliant sportsmanship there. Alex Long speeding home over the finish line. So that's a victory for Saxons, followed closely by Alexander L. Deeb. The Saxons again, so it's a Saxons 1-2. Will Clary was up on his feet and powered home again into third place. Fantastic. And it's tight. Oh, that might have to go to a photo finish. Harry Hatcher and Tommy Hodgson very close together as they came over the line there. But brilliant, brilliant display of uh, speed, endurance and also sportsmanship there. That was fantastic. So well done, boys. You're watching the action replay now. All the boys have finished. They're all sat on the rest and recovery bench, taking in some air. A brilliant race. It seems on the replay that Harry Hatcher does, in fact, take third place. Thank you very much, Ollie. Yeah, strong finish there from Alex, pumping those arms. Long strides over the finish line. And a Saxons 1-2. So here, let's just have another look at the fall. Well, you can see on the corner there, just loses his fit footing. And actually, it's the person who's in third place. I think it's Wilf stops to check he's OK, which is, again, as I said on the live comms, fantastic display of sportsmanship. Really nice looking out for his peers. Um, and again, almost sacrificed third place. You might just see it here. Oh, it's actually Tommy that takes the fall. And as you can see, Wilf in a different house stops to check he's all right in the top right of your picture. Yeah, lovely display from Wilf. Actually, Wilf showing a great display of determination as well. He actually maintained third place. Well, he's just informed me. So not only brilliant sportsmanship to check that Tommy was okay. I confirm that I can confirm that Tommy is okay. He's back in his house tent. Um, but yeah, brilliant determination from Wilf as well to finish. So well done, boys. A brilliant first couple of races. So next up on the agenda, we've got the year four 200 meters. So first up will be year two. Uh, sorry, year four 200 meter. Division two girls followed by then the year four 200 meter division one girls closely followed by year four 200 meter division three boys year four 200 meter division two boys and year four 200 more meter division one boys. This is going to be an exciting set of races. I can already anticipate the adrenaline pumping through those children's veins.
Okay, so the lineup for the girls Division Two 200 meters. We have got uh, in lane one Beatrice Hogarth in for the Normans. Lane two Barney for the Saxons. Lane three Aya for the Britons. Lane four Lexi Ford for the Britons. Uh, lane five Darcy Blakemore for the Vikings. Lane six Isla Reed for the Saxons. Lane seven Florence Kluska Artemis for the Britons. And lane eight Daisy Fairham for the Vikings. Now some of those girls will have just finished the 600 meter final so I'm sure the lungs will be burning a little bit but they've got youth on their side so I'm sure they will be absolutely fine yes I have personal experience of what youth can do for you no comment Ollie it's great so the girls just having their pre-race brief with Miss Robinson is uh, and there you can see on the far side this actually we're looking here it looks like Mr. O'Connor is talking to some of the year three girls for the long jump okay as a Mr. O'Connor will be taking lots of notes and, and scoring how the distance that they can jump some cart rules in there as well for entertainment as you can see someone going for the long jump now fantastic job there and then the team measuring to see how far she's managed to jump so it's the year three girls currently on the long jump and obviously all the pupils will rotate round at some point in the afternoon. It looks like the year four 200 vision two girls are getting ready for their race. And they've started. The girls off obviously a slightly shorter distance this time round, the uh, 200 meters. So it's gonna be very much a sprint. It's a very close packed field to start with. We can see on the screen, very strong running from Darcy Blakemore being pushed hard by Lexi Ford, who's just come off the back of the 600 meter final as the girls round the corner to the final straight. And it's 100 meters now. Lexi Ford seems to be pushing out front by a very long way, closely followed by Darcy. You can see on the far right, a Norman catching up. And then there is... Yeah, we've got uh, Lexi Ford about to cross the finish line in first place. So that's the first for Britons. We're followed closely by Darcy Blakemore. B. Hogar takes third place for Normans. Fourth place, Isla Reed. Fifth place, Florence Klusk Artemis. Barney comes in in sixth, followed closely by A and Daisy. So quite a close finish there for the girls. Fantastic. So next up, we will have the Division One girls 200 metres. run by Connie Lunn, who is representing Saxon, Cecilia Sheldon for Vikings, Amelia Bjorn for Vikings, Toyossi Akinola for Saxons, Florence Ward for Saxons, Claudia Villabla Alves, Britons, Etty Whale for Normans, and Alexia Stafanyakinas for Normans. Yeah, very good. Okay, and then the, the Division 1 200 meters girls record was uh, 26 seconds, 37 milliseconds, set by Emmy Davis in 2018. Emmy, a fellow Year 7 pupil of Ollie's here. Has to be said, she is quite quick. Here we are just getting a pan, and it seems that the Year 4... 200 meter division one girls are about to begin their race. The green flag is raised and it seems to be starting. The girls just getting ready. You can see the boys there sat on the floor ready to go after the girls. So they're getting ready. A little quick warm up. It is overcast. We're managing to stay dry, but there is a breeze in the air. So uh, the pupils doing their very best to try and stay warm as they're waiting. And the boys just getting ready for their turn, which will be after the girls. So yeah, after this race, it will be the 200 meter division three boys. Then after that, the year four 200 meter division two. Followed by the year four 200 meter division one boys. Followed by the year four 75 meter division two girls. I mean, we could go on here. Though so the flag is up, Miss Robinson holding the green flag, ready to go. The girls in their starting positions. They look like they're about to begin. Wait for it. And the race has begun. Teams out front here immediately is Alexia Staff. Stachianakis. Stachianakis. 
Yeah, fantastic. Very strong start. Speeding round here. Uh, we've got Teresi on her screen, but actually, I think off the screen, you should see any minute now. We've got somebody in first place, Toyosi and Alexia looks like a battling at the moment. Toyosi starting to stride ahead. Very close middle of the field here. Looks like Toyosi's just pushing. Toyosi is going to cross the finish line in first place for Saxons, followed closely by Alexia for Normans. Oh, a very tight third place there between Florence Ward and Cecilia Sheldon. That seemed like a very fast run, Ollie. A possible record broken here, 26 seconds and 30 second million seconds. This could be a record break. We'll wait to get that confirmed by the official adjudicators, Mr. Evans, Mr. Moore, and the trusty iPad to time things. And then that gets transferred to Mr. Stevens and Mr. Piper, who have the very official job of counting the points and all the data that comes with a sports day like this. So a very good race from the girls. You can see Connie Lund for the Saxons just crossing the line there. And Etty there, and they just sat down. There, there you are. Take the, the girls sat on the bench, taking some oxygen in. Hands on the head. Nice deep breaths. And then the year sevens and the staff there to help them out. Possibly a stitch there. So the boys now, the uh, year four boys, division three, 200 meters. Ooh. We've got lane one, Ewan Doherty for the Vikings. Lane two, Richard Meller for the Normans. Lane three, Ryan Hussain for the Britons. Lane four, Natey Butler-King for the Vikings. Lane five, Musa Shah for the Saxons. Lane six, Leon O for the Normans. And lane f seven, Nad Jad Nakuzi for the Vikings. Excellent, so seven runners in this race. They are just getting ready. Miss Robinson's green flag is up. They'll wait for her to drop that before they set off on their 200 meter sprint for the line. That sprint for glory. Somebody seems to be warming up with some quick fast feet. See in the bottom of the picture there, Mrs. Seaton, who will be class teacher for some of these boys. I'm sure she'll be willing them on, cheering them onto the line. Oh, we've got a full start there. Some over eagerness from the year four boys. And Miss Robinson has got to put them back in their starting blocks. Maybe a bit of excitement, maybe a bit of nerves, Ollie. Agreed. There always is nerves when you're about to begin a race, which could result in the winning of the house competition. Often very close affairs these sports days. So I know we've said it before, but every point does count. And they are off. The boys are off on their 200 meters as they round that bend just behind the tree. And as they come round that bend, for the last, we've got a group of year three girls running behind us now, so there might be some excitement you can hear in the background. In front is Nathaniel Butler King. Closely followed is Richard Mellar. It seems one. Richard has overtaken Natie Butler King and is now running in first place. He is pulling away from the crowd. Closely followed behind him is. Yeah, Richard Meller is coming down what looks like the last 25 metres or so towards the finish line. Mr. Brown in the background clapping him on there. So Richard Meller followed by Natey Butler-King and Jad Nakuzi in third place. Falls over the finish line. Musa Shah, Ryan Hussain, Leon O. Excellent running, boys. There's some tired looking bodies down there, but they should all be really proud of their efforts. That was fantastic. So we look at the replay here. Oh, we've got Ewan Doherty just finishing off as well. A brilliant display of determination. This and one this one point could matter for the house competition. He is doing a sterling job here, and he crosses the line. Yeah, and a lovely sense of uh, community about of, of Hancross Park on show as the year three girls then waiting to cross the track, giving him a big cheer as he came across the finish line. So a fantastic race from all the boys. They're on the, the rest and recovery bench, getting a bit of a breather. The staff are checking them over to make sure they're okay. Uh, but a brilliant race from the boys. So next up, we have the 200 meter Division Two boys, year four. In lane one, we've got Diego Costa from the Normans. Lane two, Manan from the Britons. Lane three, Joshua Butler-King from the Vikings. Lane four, Luke Graves from the Vikings. Lane five, Kyle Zhang from the Normans. Lane six, Tommy Hodgson from the Normans. Lane seven, Hugh Watkin from the Britons. Lane seven, Salvador Wellinghoff from the Britons. Yeah, lane eight, Zalvador. Yeah, perfect. So this one, again, a more of a packed field, and they're off already, going around that bend at the top of the field as they approach that last stretch. And it looks like Tommy Hodgson's made a very good start and a push for the lead. Cl 
closely followed by Hugh Watkin and Luke Graves running nicely. Salvador, Kyle and Joshua Butler King followed by Manan and Diogo. Luke Graves now in front here, closely followed by Tommy Hodgson. He seems to be leading. Just behind him is Isaac Butler King, uh, Joshua Butler King, and then he's just been overtaken. And now that's, that's Luke Graves over the finish line first. Excellent running by Luke Graves, followed closely by Tommy Hodgson. So that's first place for the Vikings and a second place for the Normans. Tommy in second place. If we watch the replay here, you can see Luke really striding away there for the last 50 meters or so. Tommy Hodgson doing a great job chasing him down. Just keep an eye out for third place. It looks like Kyle finished in third place. There's Tommy crossing the finish line in second and Kyle finishing in third. So actually the Normans finishing with a second and third place and Luke Graves in first for the Vikings. Great running boys. Next is the boys division one race, 200 meters. In lane one, representing the Normans, is Omar Lachal. Lane two is Alex LD for the Saxons, then Wilf Clary for the Vikings. Then Alex Long for the Saxons. Lane five is Bobby Zhu for the Saxons. Lane six is Seb Potate for the Vikings. Lane seven is Harry Hatcher for the Britons, and lane eight is Noah Freeman for the Britons. The record for this particular race is 24 seconds and 16 milliseconds, set by Jacob Spears in 2018. Got, a, got his hands on a couple of records, Jacob, hasn't he? He does. As a personal peer of mine, he is renowned for his athletic ability. Excellent. And, and we're off for the year four Division One 200 meters final here. The boy is rounding that top bend, and there's a burst of speed there. That looks like that. Bobby. Bobby Zoo has made a real burst for it, closely followed by Alex Long. And this is a very quick pace. This is going to be a tight finish. Bobby Zoo really pushing hard down that final straight, followed by his Saxons housemate Alex Long. The two of them. Oh, it's very close. Bobby's pushing. Alex is pushing him all the way. Harry Hatcher looks to be set to finish third, followed by Sebi Pote in fourth. That's a very, very fast race, Ollie. Very strong there from Bobby. A massive sprint start. I thought he was going to run out of energy, but he maintained the speed and then he pushed through. P fantastic performance. Yeah, absolutely. You can see the boys there, the Saxons boys, just pulling away slightly. Alex Long did really well to keep up with Bobby and try and push him all the way. And actually, it was quite a close race further down the field as well. Harry Hatcher finished third. Seb Pote just behind him. And then Wilf Clary and Alex LD as well, followed by Noah Freeman and Omar as well. So fantastic running, boys. Brilliant job. There'll be some tired bodies out there, as you can see on their faces. Here we see long jump, and it seems that... The year three girls still completing their, their long jump. And actually, we saw, uh, we talked about Jacob being a record holder. He's actually stood there holding one of the tape measures, helping out with the long jump today. There he is, next to Mr. Davis and next to Mr. C as well. Fantastic jump. And I know Jake, he... He, in year six, managed to jump four meters, which is an incredible jump. So there seems to be only four competitors left in the long jump, and only one of them will emerge victorious. Okay, so just a short break. We're just waiting now for the year four girls, 75 meter division two girls. Uh, and running there, we've got lane one, Barney for the Saxons. Lane two, Etty for the Normans. Lane three, Aya Pitchforth for the Britons. Lane four, Darcy Blakemore for the Vikings. Lane five, Isla Raid for the Saxons. Lane six, Beatrice Hogarth for the Normans. Lane seven, Florence Kluska Artemis for the Britons. And lane eight, Darcy, Daisy Fairham, the Vikings. Yeah, and actually a very fast record for this. Set back in 2009. Uh, so that was 12 seconds and 12 milliseconds. So extremely fast. Extremely fast. Set by Lily Franks. 12 seconds, 20, 12 milliseconds. I personally know that Lily Frank was an incredible high jumper. She had very long legs. So this can explain. I mean, I'm an English teacher, obviously, Ollie, not a maths teacher. W were you even born then, 2009? Yes, I was. That was the year I was born. I was born in 2009. And when I was born, this person was setting incredible records. 
that's a scary thought, Oli. But yeah, very, very, very fast run that was. So hopefully we might see that record being pushed today, but we'll have to wait and see. However, I feel I may have set a record. Most pasta eaten by a baby in 60 seconds. So we're still looking here at the long jump. The last of the year three girls. There's a couple of Saxons there. Mr. O'Connor just getting them ready. Talking them through technique. There he is, Mr. O'Connor. Obviously our ICT guru who's now helping with the long jump. Is there anything this man can't do? Probably not, no. I remember going into one of his fitness sessions and coming out with my legs screaming. However, I reckon there is one thing he can't do. And that is not tear his eyes away from technology. You've got a very good point there, Ollie. Very good point. So it looks like the girls are all congregating up the top for the 75 meters. They're just getting briefed by Miss Robinson as to their, their positions, their lanes, uh, and their starting places. Over to you, Ollie. Lovely jump there on a the high jump. Quite a high setting, however. And here comes lovely clip oh so close uh, it looks like evie gilby i believe unfortunately just knocked the bar off and uh, mr richards mr clark there with uh, some reliable assistance a bit like lex duffy and uh seb dearsley to help out there funny enough i know seb dearsley and i'm pretty sure he's a long jump person oh so the girls are now in position so just to recap this is the year four 75 meter division two girls Miss Robinson just getting them in their position. Bit of excitement from Etty Whale just stepping off the grid. But they're back and they're ready. So this will be a very short, sharp, don't peel your eyes away from the screen. You do not have time to go and get yourself a cup of tea. So 75 meters, they'll be gone in a flash. The question is, can they beat the long-standing record? 12 seconds, 12 milliseconds. We shall have to wait and see. Miss Robinson holding the green flag up. They're about to start. And the race has begun. And lots of arms pumping hard there, looking a very strong. Darcy Blakemore and Barney looks like she's pulling away on the far side. Mr. Brown there cheering the girls on. It's going to be very close. Darcy Blakemore first, Barney second, Isla Reed third, B. Hogarth fourth. Fantastic. That was a remarkably close race. All the girls over the finish line, very fast time. So Darcy Blakemore finished first. Looks very happy. Look at that face very very close race there and an extremely quick time i would say just skimming the record we'll have to see if the division one girls can crack the record yeah as you see there barney pushing darcy all the way and it's that final 15 20 meters or so that darcy just pulls away and as you can see there darcy crosses the finish line closely by barney and then a very close finish for third place isla reed beatrice hogarth and really tight. So we're going back now to the high jump and the uh, the bar's just been adjusted by Lex Duffy and Seb Dearsley. And it looks like we've still got the year threes over there. So I can see a lot of dancing, a lot of enjoyment going on. There seems to only be a few competitors left in this high jump competition and we're about to see the end of it. Oh wait, the 75 meter girls division one is about to start. Lexi Ford in lane one representing Britons. Connie Lunn in lane two representing Saxons. Florence Ward in lane four, no, lane three, representing Saxons. Toyosi Akinola in lane four, representing Saxons. And Cecilia Sheldon in lane five, representing Vikings. Amelia Bjorn in lane six, representing Vikings. Claudia Villabla Alves in Britons, representing lane five. And in lane eight, Alexia Stafinakas in Normans. Yeah, Stafinakas. So the flag is up, the girls are ready. Again, this should be a very tight race, so we're gonna have to keep our eyes on the screen very closely. Girls are ready, a lot of serious faces there, game faces, and they're off. The girls are off, Lexi Ford on the far side. Nice long stride there, Toyosi down the middle. Alexis looking strong. Toyosi is really pushing today. She is doing a wonderful job. Alexi Stafinakis seems to have taken second. You know, Stafinakis is one name I will never be able to pronounce. Oh, it was a br it's a brilliant finish there. I think first place was Toyosi, but actually I've got to say, I think we might have to see that on a replay. I know it looked like Florence Ward and Alexia Svakianakis very close together there. Very determined start by the girls and a very fast pace again. You can see on their faces how hard they're pushing, how hard they're trying. And as you can see here, Toyosi 
over the last 20 meters, just pulls away over the finish line. And Alexia kind of come from nowhere, really, doesn't she? On that bottom, it looks like from our screen, Alexia takes second and Florence takes third. But obviously, that will be adjudicated on the uh, official iPad by Mr. Evans and Mr. Moore. So we shall wait and see. Very close matchup there. They're now sitting down, getting some oxygen, breathing in. And it looks like the way they've sat, we've got Toyosi, Florence, and Alexia. So maybe from our positioning, maybe Florence did take second place. But they, it looks like they're still looking over it. So yet to be confirmed. And we have it. There's been a switch. Mr. Evans has confirmed. Alexia did indeed sneak into second place. So fantastic display of determination from Alexia, who snuck up into second place. And as you can see from her dance moves, I think she's quite enjoying that. Is. We're actually now up to the boys. It's the uh, year four 75 meter division three boys. Okay, and we have in lane, lane one is blank, lane one is free, lane two, we've got Noah Freeman, lane three, Musa Shah, lane four, Omar, lane five, Ryan, lane six, Jad, lane seven, Leon, and lane eight, we've got Ewan Doherty. The record for this particular race is Jacob Spears in 2018, 11 78. Another record held by Jacob. He is on fire. Now, was Jacob just very, very good, or was everyone else absent on that day? He seems to have a lot of records. I mean, I know I'm very good, so he must be very good. And modest you are, Ollie. I am the king of modest, sir. The king of modest. Okay, so Miss Robinson just gives him the boys into start position. Just whilst we're waiting for Miss Robinson to sort the boys out, we're back over at the high jump, and it looks like... I'm trying to work out who's next to go. I can see we've got... Toby Allison down there. Just waiting to see who's actually going in. Mr. Clark's obviously looking at his paperwork to see who's up next. It's nice to see as well that not only we've got the competitors there on the high jump, but there's lots of people stood around the ropes watching, cheering them on, perhaps competitively seeing if their own scores are going to be beaten. Robinson's back into her position with the, with the uh, hallowed green flag by her side. It's gone into the air, the green flag. The boys are ready. Noah Freeman's just getting himself in the zone. Musa with a bit of an arm roll there. Leon sorting his hair. Jad is in prime position. Ryan's just making sure he's on the line. And Omar, cool as a cucumber. As usual. Leon is sorting his hair again. He is ready for this. If his hair will take him anywhere, he definitely knows he'll win. They are ready and they are off the boys. Noah, very good start from Noah. He is flying and Omar's pushing him hard, but it looks like Noah is rattling down that track at a rate of knots. So Noah will finish first, followed by Omar, followed by Musa, then Jad, then Ryan, and then Leon. And we've got some boys on the floor again. They've put their all into it. And now they're heading over to the recovery bench. A very, very close race again, but Noah Freeman, that's some performance. That is some real speed. Potentially record-breaking stuff. I'm not sure if he beat 11.78. Now, that is very quick. And next race, we have the Year 4 75-metre Division 2 boys. And in lane 1 of this race... We'll just hold there whilst we look at this replay of the Division 3. As you can see, Agreed. Noah striding out there. Lovely long strides there. Just Pump. behind him. Omar. And then Noah. He's about to take it. Noah, Noah takes it. Followed by Omar. Musa in third place. Jad and then very tight between Ryan and Leon so they might have to look at that on the iPod. Jad goes to the ground there, Ryan will take it and then Leon cheered on by Mr Brown as well so a very good race by the boys, fantastic. Sorry Oli, let's go for the uh, year four 70 metres Division 2. Anyway, Division 2 would be Salvador Wellinghoff in lane one for Britons, then it's Joshua Butler King, Vikings, who wa Hugh Watkin for Britons, Kyle Zhang for Normans, Richard Mello for Normans, Nathaniel Butler King for Vikings, Manon Atrage for Britons, and Diego Costa for Normans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boys competing today. This is going to be a tight race. Fantastic count in that, Oliver. So as we can see here, we're now looking at the long jump. Mr. Davis doing a bit of maintenance on the long jump. It looks like the year threes may well have finished that event, uh, or some of them have, and actually some more year three pupils are heading over now to the long jump. But Miss Robinson has got a flag up on the track, so we will return to the year four 75 meter division two boys. 
So again, boys looking serious. They're looking focused. Lots of game faces there. And they are off. That's a very tight start. Natey head down, pumping those arms. Richard Meller again. Joshua Butler King pushing hard. It seems that Joshua Butler King is in front, but from my perspective, it's met Richard Meller who takes it. Wow, what a close race. That Real looked, pace. That looked like a Normans 1-2 to me. I think it looked like Richard Meller in first and Kyle Zhang in second, I think. So Normans could have picked up a fair few points there with a 1-2. And I think it's Joshua Butler King in third place. So Mr. Evans just sorting the boys out onto the recovery bench to get their, their breath back. Brilliant running again by the boys. So let's just have a look at that. Strong start there and you can see Richard just pumps with those those long legs pumping through and Kyle stays with him all the way so maybe a Norman tactic possibly however recently the Normans have been excelling in races and Joshua Butler King deserves a massive amount of credit there he goes for the head drop as well just to try and dip below Kyle Zhang but Kyle just has his leg out in front so Kyle second and Joshua third. So we now have the year four 75 meter division one boys and in lane one Will Clary for the Vikings lane two Tommy Hodgson for the Normans we've already seen a lovely bit of sportsmanship between those two this afternoon lane three Seb Pope for the Vikings lane four Bobby Zoo for the Saxons lane five Alex Long for the Saxons lane six Alex LD for the Saxons lane seven Harry Hatcher for the Britons and lane eight Luke Graves for the Vikings Bobby Zoo was the winner of the boys 200 meters division one so can he take another victory and crown himself the victor of 75 meters division one it is possibility here he could break the 1178 record set by jacob spears however there are strong competitors such as alex long alex ld wilf clary and tommy hodgson don't forget seb Pote, harry hatcher and luke graves they are all victorious runners yeah, Luke Graves, I believe, won the two, his 200 metres race. So uh, it should be a very tight race. Miss Robertson's flag is up. The boys are in position and ready to go. Bobby looking very calm and cool. Some of the boys looking a bit more serious. So we shall see Tommy Hodgson in a good running stance there. And they are off. Strong start by Wilf Clary. Alex Long pushing hard. Bobby Zoo trying to go down the middle, followed by Seb Pope. It looks like Wilf at the moment, but Bobby's just pulling away. Bobby Zoo, Alex Long, Will Clary, I believe so. Fantastic running. I think it might have been a Saxons 1-2. Bobby Zoo in first place, Alex Long in second, and Will Clary, who pushed the boys all the way, in third place, I believe. Very close race there. Wilf was leading out front for a bit, but Bobby and Alex were catching up. This is an incredible performance. It seemed that Bobby started quite far behind the others, but his acceleration was rapid. And you can see him on the replay now accelerating past Jago. And then he's catching up with Wilf, and he finally passes him, closely followed by Alex Long, chasing him all the way. Yeah, brilliant running. Very fast pace as well. You can see Wilf finishing there. It's going to be tight between Seb, Luke, and Harry Hatcher. Alex L. Deep, just stretching over the line and Tommy Hodgson dipping in there as well. Really good. Oh, you can see Miss Lorente there in the background getting pumped. Bit of a fist bump. Obviously, Saxon's housemaster, Miss Lorente. She's going to be chuffed with that finish. One, two. So we are now going to take a short break. Uh, we're going to remain live, obviously, but the, the, the competitors are going to have a short break. I believe there's going to be some presentations, so we'll obviously talk you through that. But obviously, we will now flip over to the high jump. Uh, we're just having a look here. Mrs. Waterworth is over to see some of her classmates. A fantastic day's racing so far. The pupils are running off, you can see there, for a well-earned water break. Oh, that's a big jump there for the Normans. Mrs. Taylor giving them a clap on there. Brilliant. He hasn't stopped. Jumps in the pit, straight out and running around again. Lovely jump there. Now we see there are not many competitors left of the year three boys there were originally quite a few but they are slowly dwindling down up now we see prana getting ready to take his jump and we are back at prana here he's running up he's accelerating here comes the jump and what a jump incredible performance by prana the boys there cheering each other and this is Pranav again we can see the replay there's Jacob just checking that it's a clean jump Mr. C there ready with his rake brilliant jump in Pranav oh here we go here's Jan 
Jan setting off down the track for the long jump. Ooh, that looked pretty good, pretty impressive. Ollie, I can't get over how they are jumping into the pit and then running out of the pit with such energy still. That must be the energy of youth, sir. Another fantastic jump. They're going through at a rate of lots on the high jump. Brilliant. Well, they don't seem to be measuring at the moment, so I'll go to the high jump. Okay, we're going to switch over now to the high jump. I think the boys might just be having some practice jumps there. They're not being measured, so we're back over at the high jump. We've got some cartwheels there in the background, laid on some... Uh, impromptu gymnastics for you to look at. They're in, a, they're in a huddle, some of the pupils with Mrs. Waterworth. Maybe a last minute team talk while Mr. Clark tots up the figures. Seb Disney and Lex Duffy still ably helping the high jump here. And there you can see a lot of the year four competitors who have completed their track events so far today. You can see a lot of red faces, a lot of heavy breathing, but also a lot of smiles as well, which is ultimately what this day is all about. They must be chuffed with their performance. I would be too. They have done very well. Miss Robinson there taking a photo. You can see the waves. Hopefully this might go on uh, some form of social media later. You'll get, you'll get to see the other the other side. We're seeing their, their backs and the, uh, the houses they're part of, but you might get to see their faces later on this afternoon. Big cheerleader hands here waving all at Miss Robinson. She's used to that, though. She is. Uh, a lot of people like her and a lot of people like Tilly, Miss Robinson's dog, who is a lovely. Is Tilly competing today? No, but I have bets that if she competed in the 600 metres, she probably could have won. I mean, four legs is double the amount of two. <laughs> Quick maths. This is lovely. Look, just looking around the field now, you can see all the pupils there having their photo taken. All the year four pupils with Miss Robinson. You can see year three pupils uh, in the background performing cartwheels. It's brilliant. Thank you very much to all of you who are, are tuned in and, and watching. So hopefully some of you are watching at home. But, uh, you know, obviously, sorry that you can't be here in person. But hopefully this is a, a good alternative. Uh, the pupils are really doing themselves proud, doing you proud as well. Uh, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. It's lovely to be here. I've just had it confirmed to me that we've actually got people tuning in from India. So this perhaps might be the first time that we've had a hand cross park sports day being held in India. So we, we've truly gone global. Uh, I don't know whether that means that we're now qualified international presenters, Ollie, but, um, you know. I think it does. I think we were already qualified international presenters. It was just a hidden talent with us. Isn't it? So now we can fully express our hidden international talent. I mean, you can just hear how experienced we are with commentating. We've made it. We've made it. As you can see, here we go. Is this... Uh, they are measuring these jumps now, as you can see on the long jump for the year three boys. Again, leaping up up the sandpit, smile on his face, running back, that's brilliant. The boundless energy, the energy of I youth. don't know if that's a celebration or if he is genuinely rubbing sand off his leg. It could be that famous football ce celebration. Yes. I think he's called Mbappe. You might be right. I hope so. The boys there. The, so this is the year three boys were still okay, on the long jump. The microphone for the benefit of Mr. Carter. I don't know if parents at home can hear me. I don't know if the camera's on me or on the children. But, oh, it is. There you go, guys. You're going to be on the screens at home so your parents can see how well you've done. Okay? Um, so you might be able to hear in the background, Mr. Richard is going to do the presen presentations for the year fours. That they have heard that you are watching, so they've turned around and they're waving at all you watching. So they're aware that you are watching on the live stream. Year four girls, 600 meter final. This is the year four girls, 600 meter final awards. Mr. Richards is about to present, ably in assisted by Miss Robinson. place, we've got Cecilia Sheldon. Cecilia Sheldon in third place. For the Vikings, you can hear, I, I hope you can hear the applause in, in the background. In second place, Toyosi Akinola. In second place, Toyosi. And in first place, Lexi Ford. Lexi Ford finishing in first for the Britons there. And you can see Mr. Brown beside them. Very the well done, happen. girls. Can you smile at them there?
Lexi looking very chuffed with herself, so Cecilia and Toyosi, they've all done a stunning performance. Okay, the year four boys, 600 metres. Year four in boys, third place, meters. Wilf Clary. Third place, Wilf Clary. And Wilf showed some really good sportsmanship, yeah. turning around to check that Tommy was okay. As we mentioned after, earlier, some fantastic sportsmanship well from, from, from Wilf. Now. He turned around um, another, in another second place, fell over Alex LD. stopped to check that he was okay. Still managed to hold on to third place. Second place, Alex LD. Fantastic running from Alex LD. And in first place, Alex Long. And Alex Long first place. So a Saxons 1-2 and then a Viking in third place in Will. So well done, boys. Alex Long first place, Alex D second and Wilf Clary in third. Nice big smiles there. Miss Lorente must be chuffed because well done, she is the head of the Saxons house and she now has two first place competitors. Okay, next is the girls, 200 metres, Division 2. The girls, In third place was Beatrice Hogarth. Two. Third place, Beatrice Hogarth. In second place, Darcy Blakemore. In second place, Darcy Blakemore. And in first place, Lexi Ford. And first place, Lexi Ford again. Lexi is on fire today. She is really doing well for Britons. Well done, yeah, fantastic. Good split there as well. Britons, well Vikings, Normans, no Saxons. So Mr. Renter okay, won't be quite 200 so meters, that time Division round. 1 final. Sure in third place up. was Cecilia Sheldon. Uh, this is Division 1, 200 meters final. So third place, Cecilia Sheldon. In second Vikings. place, Alexia Svakianakis. Second place, Alexia Svakianakis. And in first place, Toyosi Akinola. Toyosi Akinola in first place, representing the Saxons. Oh, Miss Lorente is smiling again. <laughs> and the girls are smiling. Look at that. A bit of a laughter. A bit of laughter, sorry, on the, on the top of the podium. Well done. Thank you, girls. They Down must you be come. very proud. It was a stellar performance. Okay, on to the boys. 200 metres. Division boys, three meters, in division third three. place. Jad Nakuzi. Jad Nakuzi. Yeah, fantastic running by Jad this afternoon. Well done, Jad. In second place, Nathaniel Butler King. Second place, Nathaniel place, Butler King. Ooh. Ooh. And in first place, Richard Meller. First place, Richard Meller. Fantastic running by Richard. So we've got a Normans in first place and then a strong Viking second and third, Natey and Jad. Well done, boys. Brilliant running. Well done, guys. Okay, the boys, 200 metres, Division 2. In third place, Kyle Zhang. Third place, Kyle Zhang for the boys, 200 metres, Division 2. In second place, Tommy Hodgson. Second place is Tommy Hodgson. And in first place, Luke Graves. First place, Luke Graves doing a stunning performance. Yeah, very impressive run by Luke this afternoon. The Normans well done, smiling there. Vikings 1, Normans 2, 3. The, thank you. The boys, 200 metres, Division 1. In third place, Harry Hatcher. In second place, Alex Long. And in first place, Bobby Zhu. Well done, boys. You've done a great performance. Bobby again triumphing. Miss Lorente is very, very pleased of first place. I think there might be a fist bump or two going on there. She's uh, happy. Yep, Saxons one, Saxons two, Britons three. Very good running by the boys. I'm hoping that you can pick up on the mics, all the cheering that their classmates and their, their, their year mates are, are giving them as they go off on the podium. There's a lot of support for each other, which is really okay, nice Okay, we're to on see. to the 75 metre sprints now. So the girls, division two, in third place, Isla Reed. Well done, Isla. In second place, Barney Sarah. And in first place, Darcy Blakemore. Yeah, wonderful race. Darcy really kind of pulled away towards the end of her race there. So we've got a Viking first place, Darcy. Barney in second yeah, place and girls. Isla Saxon in third in place. 75 metres, division one for the girls. In third place, Florence Ward. Well done, Florence. In second place, Alexia Svakinakis. And in first place, Toyosi Akinola. 
Koyesi again. Miss Lorente must be very chuffed. That was quite nice to see as well. I think it was, that was the race. That was a very tight finish between Alexia and Florence. They had to go to a bit of a photo finish on the iPad, but you well can see both girls. girls laughing and smiling about it now. So uh, a nice boys, sense of seventy-five meters, division three, in third place, Musa Shah. In second place, Omar Lachal. Another big smile from Musa as he welcomes Omar. And the in podium. first place, Noah Freeman. Lots of applause there for Noah. Well done. They are all such a lovely community, and we're so lucky. Well done, boys. That was a bit emotional. 75 meters, Division Two. In third place, Joshua Butler King. In second place, Kyle Zhang. And in first place, Richard Meller. Richard Meller again making his way to the top of the podium. And again, the, the Normans could be very happy with that. Normans one, Normans two. And Joshua Butler King there as well for the Vikings. So well done, boys. Brilliant well done money. Boys. And the boys, 75 meter division one. In third place, Wolf Clary. In second place, Alex Long. And in first place, Bobby Ju. Yeah, well done, boys. Again, I think I think it was those three on the podium slightly earlier, but you can see a Saxons. One, two, Bobby, Alex, and then Will Clary in third place for the Vikings. Fantastic. Okay, really well done, uh, well done boys and girls. Um, you will receive your certificates at the end of the day. We'll look after them for you while you're still competing. Uh, go get a little break, and then we'll be swapping over to the field events. You might have just heard Mr. Richard say then, but the pupils are just going to go over and grab themselves a drink of water, have a little break, and then the year four pupils are going to switch across to the field events. And that should hopefully coincide nicely with the year three pupils coming across for their track event. So the year four pupils just going to have a short break, then they're going to go across to the field events, and then the year three pupils will arrive at the track for their events. Yes, the year three girls are starting their track events now. And first up for the year three girls, track events is the 600 meter final girls congratulations on everybody who made it there we are now looking on the live stream over at the long jump having seen the presentations and it looks like we've got uh, a good mixture of year three boys and girls actually they're just waiting limbering up running down the track oh dainty jump that one looks very good Mr. Davis and Jacob just making sure that they're measuring. And is this is this Leo about to go or is he just watching? Lots of excitement, lots of smiling faces this afternoon, Ollie. Agreed. There is there is a lot of smiling, a lot of encouragement and a lot of positivity. This must be an awesome day for all the year. Threes and fours, I know they are definitely looking forward to the rest. I don't want to curse it, but it's also stayed dry. Yeah, there is a bit of a black cloud looming over us right now, but I'm sure we'll be fine. At least I hope so. Ever the optimist, Ollie. Always. We're back over. Uh, that looked like that looked like Sammy Kirk doing the high jump, Ollie. We, um, and he's running off there smiling. I'm pretty sure he's not in year three or year four anymore. Oh, back at the lot. That was a very good long jump by Leo, I believe. He's just... Mr. Davis is asking him to... Stay where he is in case of standing back. And he's walking off out of the pit there. There we go. Looks very chuffed with himself. And again with the youth energy. He is bounding back up to that runner. Absolutely. I, I think that's him done. He's happy with that. He's running off. There you can see the, the beautiful setting of Sports Day, which I know that a lot of you watching will be familiar with anyway. But as you can see, it's not much different than if you would be here with the, the house tent set up in the middle of the track. The pupils uh, shepherded in their in their houses, but you know, supporting each other and cheering each other on. You can see Leo doing his celebration run down the long jump. He's obviously very chuffed with his efforts. Woo! So he should be. He has been doing very well today, Leo. And that looks like Toby Allison sprinting on a big Ooh. jump there. What a jump! 
stayed on his feet. Oh no, that's no, sorry, that's not. That's um, that's Henry. I beg your pardon. Henry. Haswell, good jump. Ooh, falling forward, that's always a good thing to do in the long jump, you don't want to fall backwards. No, falling backwards is probably the worst thing to do apart from not jumping. But falling backwards, the, the uh, jump is measured from the last place your feet touch the ground. That was, a, that was a good jump actually, good technique, lifted his feet nice and high, drew his knees towards him. With Pranav again. Nice, the boy's really rattling through this. Which is good to see. So the year four pupils just taking on some drinks in their house tents. I fear I may have spoken too soon about the weather. It feels like a breeze has picked up. And then um, we might be about to get wet, Ollie. There's Jan, strong starting position from Jan, and he is hurtling down that track. Oh, that was a good jump. Lift off there. It was a good jump. And there is a possibility we could get, you know what they say, wind before a storm. That famous saying? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Very, very famous. Very famous. Mr. Evans there, just ushering the boys into position, making sure that they're all back. Brilliant, brilliant jump there into the long jump. However, he has put his hands back, and that is going to be costly, but I'm sure he'll do well. You know, quick question, Ollie. Mr. Davis is obviously holding the, the tape measure there. Can he count? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure he can. You know, in DT, I'm pretty sure he has to count how many centimetres to raise his band so that he doesn't cut off his fingers. So I, I would guess he could count. Uh, there we see a few, oh, a few more members of staff over there in the previous shot. You can see uh, our lovely school nurse, Sass, there, making sure that everyone is fit and well, looking after them all. And here we go, another, another jumper. Oh, good jump. Mrs. Taylor towards the end there cheering them on. There's lots of different members from the school community. I know Ollie alluded to it earlier about how such a lovely community, but a lot of, lot of members of staff who weren't necessarily involved to come out to cheer the year threes and fours on. Obviously, we've got the year sevens involved as well. As That's a big jump, Holly. That is a humongous jump. And as you can see, the long jump getting ready now is Zach. No, Max Warlow. He's got an older brother called Zach. Max Warlow, the younger brother of Zach Warlow. Just trying to catch me out. Yes. Good pumping those arms towards. Oh, Ooh. what a <laughs> jump! Sailed. Maybe it was that strong wind before the storm you were talking about. I'm pretty sure that's blown the other way, sir. Sorry. It is blowing. Okay, Mr. Evans there. You can see him just getting the boys to, I think, maybe harness their energy don't not to overdo it they still got their track events to come and there, there we can see the year fours just getting ready waiting for the year threes before they switch over some year threes in there as well so the way this works is the year threes will do their track events and then the year fours will and then the year fours will do their track events whilst the year threes do their field events and you can see mr brown obviously our esteemed head making his way across the track I thought he was going to do the 600 metres then, but he decided just to cross the track instead and go towards the high jump area. Aha! There you go, the Coventry team. It's myself and uh, Mr Winterton. We're having a great afternoon sat here in our commentator's booth. Yes, we are really enjoying ourselves quite a lot. It is, um, it's quite a strong breeze to the left of us, but this is fine. You know, I really kind of wish Mr Baron had done the 800 metres now. That would have been awesome. We got a little wave for the camera there from Seb Sheldon just walking across. So year seven people giving a little wave there. Good wave there. Ably assisting. You'll see now a couple of year three pupils and uh, Miss Twigger and Miss Sharp making their way across the, the track if they could give a wave to the camera. Uh, Mrs. Waterworth and Mrs. Hunter also. And Mr. Evans, give us a wave on the camera, please, guys. That's Mr. Evans. Lovely Mr. Start. Evans with a very shy wave there. He seems to be a bit camera shy. The modest man. Modest man, humble. 
You can see, yeah, you can see actually there with the bunting how windy it is. Ollie alluded to the wind before the storm. They do. I think there's also a calm before the storm, apparently. Something about that. Nothing, nothing calm here at Sports Day. No. Everyone, everyone's excited. Energy. The e energy, exactly. Although I'm pretty sure it's still wind before the storm. We'll have to agree to disagree on that one. Possibly. We've also just had an update. Apparently, over 100 people were tuning in at one point. Now, I'm hoping that wasn't at the start and everyone switched off because of Ollie and I on the commentary. Um, but that's brilliant. So thank you very much for all of you who have tuned in to this lower school sports day. The year threes and fours are doing a fantastic job. Um, we're just waiting. We'll obviously go short break before we switch over again. But thank you very much for tuning in. This feature is brought to us live by Cheers Mate Productions. Thank you, Cheers Mate Productions, for common for um producing this amazing sports show production. We can see lots and lots of year fours and threes over in the gazebos getting ready. They're pumping themselves up. They are ready for these field tracks and field events and track events. might see there the tent on the the, the blue tent on the right uh, under the tree that is where all the results get counted up by Mr. Stevens ably assisted by Mr. Piper and Mrs. Hunter today um, so they are at the moment totaling uh, totaling up the scores and they will be in a position to work out which house is in the lead by the end hopefully normally it's pretty close Miss Hunter is my maths teacher and I know very well that she can draw an amazing maths diagram Mr. Piper however on the other hand is an incredible history teacher. His his map of England is rather like an hourglass. We've got history and maths combining to uh, tot up the data of the sports day. This is going to go down in history. There we go. We're just looking at the Normans here, the Green Army of the Normans. Miss Robinson just directing them. Mrs. Lee ably assistant there. Etty Whale proudly holding on to the flag. We're moving now across to the Saxons as Mrs. Seaton and her shades. And Mrs. Mustard in the background of the Saxons. Mr. Moore on the far right. The Saxons looking quite serious. They should be proud of themselves. There's a Natey bridge in the gap between the Vikings and the Saxons. That's nice to see. The houses living in harmony. Yes. Yes. Or maybe it's trespassing. P possibly. Uh, there we go. Flora Wilson, a year seven pupil, helping out with the Vikings, making sure they're all being well behaved, which they are. As you can see, and there's the, the wide shot. We can see, uh, looks like Seth Disley. Seth Disley, can you give us a wave? He's walking across the track. He's on camera. There he is. Sammy yeah. Kirk is surveying Seb Disley. Yeah, joking aside, the Year 7s, are. there's a handful of them helping us out today, and they've done a fantastic job making sure that the pupils are where they need to be, helping out with the measuring, helping out with putting equipment where it needs to be, helping out with the commentary, obviously. So um, the Year 7 pupils are doing themselves proud. So thank you, Year 7s. Go, Year 7. Okay, they're just getting instructions. It looks like Miss Robinson is directing them to where the different events are going to be. So it's slightly different this year, actually. The uh, the high jump is in the middle of the uh, of the track, just in front of where you can see it there, just in front of the houses. And you can see already the year fours are heading to their field events. So the year sevens are also dispersing now to go and assist with them. You can see there Aya and Lexi running off to where they need to be. And the other pupils just awaiting further instructions. Miss Robinson, that's Natey and Leon. They look like they're running towards the ball throw which is towards the school end of the athletics track. We see the year threes are still under the gazebo. They are still recuperating their energy. They are very, very ready for this race, for these track events. First up for the year threes race, we have the year three 600 meter final girls, then the year three 600 meter final boys. The current record for the year three 600 meter final girls is two minutes and 22 seconds. 
and seven milliseconds, set by Daniel Ak Danielle Aki Akid in 2018. 2018, okay, so we've got in lane one, Tennessee Milkins from the Vikings. Lane two will be Lucy Flats, also from the Vikings. In lane three, Ava Gray Summers for the Britons. Lane four, Anira Cook from the Normans. Lane five, Cecilia Rivera from the Normans. Lane six, Harriet Higginson from the Saxons. Lane seven, Ella Ward from the Vikings. And lane eight, Lottie Waterworth for the Saxons. You can see there on the, on the, on the picture, some gray clouds in the distance. They are spreading out towards their selected locations and this is going to be a very very fiery race i'm sure there will be a close call here however it is 600 meters it is a taxing race so i give my best luck to the year threes So the year three girls are currently setting up on their places for the year year three 600 meter final girls. Miss Robinson there, she is monitoring, making sure everybody is all right. Rosie Dobbs and ably assisting year seven, making sure everybody's running smoothly. The girls will just be receiving their orders from Miss Robinson now about where to stand to start. We're looking now at the ball throw. Seb Sheldon helping out there. We can see. Um, Miss Fowler is aiding with the ball throw and it seems that out front is Seb Potate he seems to be very determined and he is ready to throw that ball he seems to be clutching a water bottle I don't think he's going to throw that there you go there with the year four boys at the, at the ball throw just getting ready and we're back over at the track you can see the girls there the boys going over to get ready for their their event because straight after the girls 600 meters we've also got the boys 600 meters final as well but we'll go through the the list of runners and riders as we get nearer the event now the boys just getting their instructions from miss twigger about the ball throw walking out and uh, inspecting making sure everything is fine they don't want to be throwing into the wrong place wind is starting to pick up now it is i know my quote the wind before the storm this is definitely a storm <laughs> 26 percent likely bit of rain i've calculated quick calculations mm -hmm. who's your science teacher my science teacher is mr clark i mean i'm not going to question that then no, I and I the wouldn't. girls are off. The 600 meter final is off, and they obviously have to do one and a half laps of the track. So quite a distance to run. So they're, they're rounding the top bend to start with, and it looks like Lottie Waterworth is made a very strong start to proceedings. Yes, Lottie is leading out front now. However, she was on the very outside curb, which is definitely going to cost her, and it seems. Looks like Ava Grace is pushing hard. The only Briton in contention. She's pushing hard. And Cecilia Rivera. And then Tennessee. Harriet Higginson. So they've got to go around one more, one more lap. So that's the bell to signal. This is their final lap as they are heading round for the 600 metres. So Cecilia Rivera leading us. Harriet Higginson. And then Ava Grace Summers in third as we go for their final lap. Stunning performance by the girls so far. They are powering along this track. This is going to be a very close call. However, A. Norman is leading out in front. I believe this is Harriet Higginson. No, Cecilia Rivera. Harriet Higginson's in second as a Saxon. Oh, very close. Now so I, Cecilia I, is leading out front. I actually talked with Cecilia's brother earlier this year, and I know that her and her brother used to go on 2K runs quite regularly. So this is obviously holding her in good stead as they approach about three quarters of the track left to go. 2K is a long way, that's longer than I would go. So they're just going past the house tents there. You can see Jad just completed a high jump in the middle of your shot there. That's nice support there from the boys as the girls. Cecilia there just coming round to the top of the bend. 
Now this bend is where things can change. If you're on the inside corner, you're going to go fast, but if you're on the outside, it will be bad. Quite a packed middle field there towards the end. The boys sat there cheering them on as the girls come round the tree, and then this will be the last push for glory. And it looks... Cecilia looks to be leading out front by quite a considerable margin. However, closely followed behind is Harriet Higgerson. Doing it with a smile effect. As she comes round to where the boys are doing the ball throw. The Cecilia now. And we've got another year seven pupil there, Anne, who's helping out with photography for the day. So Cecilia Rivera looks like she's in first place, followed by Anira Cook. And then Tennessee Milkins in third place. So Cecilia, this is the final stretch, the last push. And as they come down towards the finish line, Cecilia really striding out. It's a long way to go, but she's done fantastically well. So we've got Cecilia. Very well, Cecilia's doing very well here. Then it's Amelia Crook, and yep. then closely followed behind us. Anira Cook, followed by Tennessee Milkins. And then we've got Lottie Waterworth in fourth place. Harriet Higginson, and it's quite close ending there. Very well run, girls. That's a, quite a long distance, but they've done a fantastic job there. As we see the replay of Cecilia, big smile on her face as she's doing it as well, which is lovely to see. As we've um, said before, every point matters. Even if you come last, it doesn't matter. Every point matters. I'm sure house captains will be chuffed, and I'm sure they might be sad. Lots of hands on head there to try and get as much air as possible into those lungs. A long distance to go, but the girls have done themselves proud. They sure have. Lots of heavy breathing. I'm sure they are gasping for breath. That is a long way to run, and they have run it very, very quickly. Now the boys' 600 meter final is coming up next. And so in lane one, we've got Charlie Kierden, who's in the Normans. Lane two, Harry Haswell of the Normans. Lane three, Jan Pernstich, also of the Normans. Lane four, Toby Allison of the Britain. Lane five, Max Waller of the Vikings. Lane six, Henry Sheik of the Britons and lane seven Oliver Haswell of the Normans and finally lane eight Archie Haswell of the Normans. Now the record for this race was set by Louis Mosley Davis in 2019 and it was two minutes seven seconds and 80 milliseconds and the boys are off on their first loop of the track. Now that is a fast pace you can see he is watching very carefully and he's sprinting but he seems to be oh no that's somebody coming up close behind this is going to be very close. It's like Jan Pernstich just making an early push for it. It's quite a few Normans in this race. Lots of smiling, which is nice. So actually, Toby Allison, Charlie Kieran and Jan Pernstich look like they are leading the way, followed by Max Warlow. So they'll go past, past what is essentially the finish line. They should hear the bell for the final lap in a minute. You might be able to hear it in the background there. So we've got Toby Allison. Uh, Harry, Hall Harry Haswell just crossed the line, followed by Henry and Oliver, and then Archie. Well done, boys. The Normans did a fantastic job. So Toby Allison just starting to stretch out as they go into their last lap. Closely followed, though, by Max Warlow. They round the tree. You can see Sass there, the nurse, just clapping them round the track. This is a very close race. However, it seems that there are about four Normans, one Viking, and three Britons. I'm sure Miss Lorente is quietly crying. Max Warlow, fair play to him. He's pushing Toby all the way here. He's, he's not letting him get away. So it's a very tight race. He isn't giving up. As they go around the back of the house pens. Again, a bit of support there from their classmates or the or year mates. Mr. Brown's walking down the track to go and cheer them on. There's quite a large difference here from first and second, first and last. However, first and second, it's neck and neck. This is a very close race. They just started that curve to come back for the final stretch. Toby Allison in the lead, followed very closely by Max Waller. Mr. Brown is there, cheering the boys on. Cheering them on or about to poke them with his umbrella? Cheering them on, that's the good thing. Okay, so Toby has gone past Max Warlow and Jan Pernstich, followed by Charlie Kjordan. And then you can see there as well, the year, the year four boys are doing their ball throw in the background. This is the final straight, Ollie Winston. So it is Max Warlow's closely followed and in front. It's a massive sprint here and he's pulling out in front. It's, it's going to be close and, and Toby wins. Toby first place, Max Warlow second, but a fantastic race in by those two boys. Jan Pernstich pushing all the way for third. Charlie Curden in fourth place and this is going to be tight. Harry Haswell, Ollie Haswell, Henry Sheik and then it looks like we've got Archie Haswell to finish what was, was a brilliant race there. 
Um, as I said already, fair, fair play to Max Waller for pushing Toby all the way, but Toby managed to hold him off. Jan, worthy third place winner, and then the rest of the boys, fantastic running to keep going. As, a, as, as Ollie said, that's a long distance to go, so to keep, keep that level of pressure on each other and to keep pushing, it's brilliant, so they can be very proud of themselves. Very interesting. We have triplets in this race, all representing the Norman team. That must be why we have so many Normans in this race. So it makes it harder for us as commentators having triplets in the race. It sure does. Next event is the Year 3 150 metre Division 3 girls. 150 metres here, so, you know, oh, we're just looking here at Jad coming up to the high jump. Oh, What's unconventional it? technique, but he's got himself over onto the mat, so he'll be pleased with that. And you can see from his smile, he's certainly chuffed by that. Seb, Seb is giving him a bit of encouragement, gentle encouragement, and Jad's happy as he runs off to the rest of the year fours. Etty Whale, look he's at that, she's not even in the same house as him, but encouraging him, cheering him on. He's doing his victory dance. He must be very pleased. You have a particular victory dance, Ollie, that you put out? I quite like the floss. It's um, just a very conventional victory dance. Nothing wrong with the floss. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, and the girls here are off. So we've got in lane two, Yasmin Kelso, lane three, Lila Wilkinson, lane four, Aurora, lane five, Cecilia, lane six, Rhea, and lane seven, Lucy Clark. This is 150 meters, and it looks like Lucy Clark is in the lead, followed very closely behind Yasmin. And then Aroha, it looks like, if that continues, followed by Shrey. So here we've got over the line, Lucy Clark, well done, Lucy, followed by Aroha, or Yasmin, sorry. And then Shreya. Shreya seems to have lost a shoe. And so very Cecilia. good going. Cecilia. And then Lila. Very good effort, girls. Sorry, I meant Cecilia when I said somebody had lost a shoe. Cecilia, Cecilia lost a shoe and she held it high like she's proud of that shoe. Nice running technique there by Lucy Clark. Pumping those arms, stretching out those legs. The Saxons win that race. Miss Lorente must be chuffed. Here we see Miss Tavener clapping they were, they were, they were all the quick competitors. There. We weren't actually ready, I must admit, were we? So actually for the Division 2, 150 metres, Year 3 girls, we've got Evie Clare in Lane 1, Lucy Platt in Lane 2, Ella Ward in Lane 3, Lucia Williams in Lane 4, Chloe Dawson in Lane 5. Evelina Jansen in Lane 6, Ava Grace Summers in Lane 7 and Chloe Smith in Year 8. This goes Britain, Britain, Viking. I am sure this will be a close race. The record for the 150 metres year three girls was set by Juliet Davis, which was 25 seconds and 73 milliseconds. And that was back in 2018. So the girls are currently in position. They're waiting their starters' orders. The wind picking up here. Definitely a storm brewing, but we might be lucky and we might miss it. So, raising the green flag here is Sammy Kirk. And here we see ball throw. But just in front of that is the year three, is the year three girls, and they're off. Division two. Oh, strong start for the Britons here as they come round the top bend. But Lucia Williams actually is making a bit of headway in the middle there for the Saxons, the only Saxon representative. And she is pushing down. So Lucia in first place, followed by Eva Grace, Ava Grace for the Britons. A solo Saxon could be the and winner Chloe here. Chloe Dawson, but it looks like Lucia. Ava Grace is just behind. So Ava Grace in second, Chloe Dawson in third, Evelina Janssen in third, Lucy Flat, Ella Ward, and Chloe Smith. Well done, girls. Lovely strong run in there from Lucia. Fantastic, over the finish line. Dipped, dipped the head as well over the finish line. Very professional. Pretty much Usain Bolt in the making here. That was quite very fast, actually. Very fast. I'm not sure on the official time. Obviously, that's all done by Mr. Moore over there and Mr. Evans on the finish line. You can see the girls there. 
smiles, hands on head, red faces. There could be a record break here. 25.73 is the record, and that's fast, but those girls were also very fast. And now we've got the 150 meter division one girls. So lane one, Anira Cook, lane two, Evie Gilby, lane three, Lottie Waterworth, lane four, Cecilia Rivera. Uh, Cecilia obviously having just won the 600 meters. He must be tired. Lane five, Jade Akinola. Lane six, Tennessee Milkins. Lane seven, Harriet Higson, Higginson. And lane eight, Matilda Hewitt. So the girls are in position now. Miss Robinson just checking them for any jetpacks on their trainers. It seems like they're all in the clear. Yep, nothing there. Raise of the green flag. Is Miss Robinson running? It looks like she's running. She does. She's in a ready position. Would you back her in this race, Miss Robinson? Hmm? Would you back her? I think I think she'd do well. However, the power of youth is not to be underestimated. As you keep reminding me. I'm not trying to spite you, sir. And they are off. So here we have it. The Division 1 150 metre Year 3 girls final. So we are off. And it looks like... Jade has made a very strong start, but Cecilia Rivera strong down the middle. So it looks like we've got Jade followed by Cecilia, followed by Evie Gilby as they come into the last 50 meters or so. They're pumping those arms. But Cecilia looks like she's going to overtake. And Cecilia has clinched first place. Jade second, Evie Gilby third, and Lottie Waterworth four. A brilliant piece of running there by Cecilia Rivera. Never gave up. Nope, always pushed. What a brilliant performance. She should be very proud of herself. However, the entire time she was closely followed by... Evie Gilby. So Jade was in the lead and Cecilia, as we see here, doesn't give up. She really pushes down, pumps those legs, overtakes Jade. Uh, so Cecilia Rivera for the Normans finishes first. Jade, Jade second. for the Saxons finishes second. And then Evie Gilby for the Vikings comes in third. Fantastic running from the girls. And again, very fast pace. So... Speaking of fast pace, we move on to the Division 2 boys, 150 metres. In lane two, we've got Luca Eriksson for the Normans. Lane three, James Coe for the Britons. Lane four, Pranav for the Vikings. Lane five, Archie Haswell. Lane six, Leo Howes. And lane seven, Angus Waitman. And the record for this, do you want to have a guess who the record is for this? May it be Jacob Spears. It is Jacob Spears in 2017, 25 seconds, 64 milliseconds. And Jacob is, in fact, stood right next to the commentary box now. Well done, Jacob. Well done, Jacob. 25 seconds, 64 milliseconds. Now, that is fast. However, we could have a record break here today. There are a lot of fast boys here. And this, I remember Toby Allison was the winner of his race, so can he win again? Well, he's in Division 1. This is Division 2. He keeps talking about the power of youth. So if Jacob's now got older, is he not as fast as he once was? He's still in his youth, though. And then there's also older the wiser. I love it. When do you stop losing your youth? Hmm, now that's a different question. <laughs> However, I would say... Oh, we look like we are ready. I think I might have seen a spit of rain there as well, but the boys are ready and they are off. And you can see this, this, is, this should be very quick. They're already around the top bend, past the ball throw now. Uh, you can see it looks like... It looks like uh, Andre, followed by Prana, followed by James. And it's going to be tight, actually. So Andre is pumping those arms. He's pumping those arms, but he's followed by Pranav. So Andre's really going to have to keep going. And he is, and he's crossing the finish line. Andre, Pranav, Pranav. James Coe in third, Archie in fourth. Oh, that's going to be very tight for fifth place because Angus looked like he was going to take it. But I think Luca, Luca, sorry, might have just pushed him towards the end there. That's been quite a close race there. Pranav very assured, running nicely. James, but... Andre just held him off. You have a quick check over his shoulder there, as you saw as he came towards the finish line. Good running. And then Pranav closely following behind. Those boys must be proud. That was a stellar performance. Uh, we could. Well, and we might be photo finish here, Ollie. If we just have a quick look. So James Coe yes. goes over. And then for fifth, Archie. And then it's these two, Angus and Lucas. Big We're having a quick, oh, that's going to be very tight for Mr. Evans. Oh, it looks like Lucas takes it, but that's from our position here in the gantry. Who knows what Mr. Evans is going to say? His knee is just over. 
I can confirm we have spits of rain coming down on us now in the commentary box. So that's going to be quite cold. It, it is now raining, but it's fine. We are we'll soldier on. So next up, we have the Division 1, 150 metres. In lane 1, Oliver Haswell. In lane 2, Jan Pernstich. In lane 3, Henry Sheik. Lane 4, Toby Allison. Lane 5, Zach Jones. Lane 6, Max Warlow. Lane 7, Charlie Kuren. Lane 8, Harry Haswell. And they're off already. This is going to be very tight indeed. We've already seen a good race with some of these boys involved. And Jan looks like he's striding out, but Toby Allison is pushing hard. Charlie Kuren's also there. Zach Jones is pushing hard as well in the middle, but Max Warlow isn't going to give up. No, this is very, very close. We're going to have to wait to see, but it looks like Toby Allison, and then I don't know who got second. It looked like it was between Jan or Max, but we'll have to have a look at the replay. Close call there, very, very close. I think Max could have taken third, not sure about second. We'll have to wait and see. So they sat down on the bench. So we'll have a look here. And it's, it's really quite even as they came into this last 75 metres or so. Jan's checking over his shoulder. Toby's bursting down the middle. Followed by Zach and Max. But Max no, doesn't give up. Keeps going. He's on Zach's shoulder the whole way. So Toby, I think, clinches first as he crosses the line there. And it's going to be about second place. Jan, I think. It looks like Jan, but it's very tight. I think possibly Jan and then Max. But... Mr. Moore and Mr. Evans have the trusty iPad over there, so we'll wait to see how they get arranged on the bench. It looks so like Toby, Toby, Jan, Jan and Max. Max. Excellent running, boys. That was very, very quick. Very quick indeed. Here we see a high jump, and there seems to be Lily Whale doing a victory dance with <laughs> Claudia Ward. Florence Klusk Artemis. There we go. Now the next events are going to go in a blink of an eye because they are the 75 metres. So we're going to start with the girls division three, then the girls division two, then the girls division one. And then the boys have two divisions for the 75 metres. Uh, for the girls 75 metres division three, we have Shreya Shitrapu for Normans, Chloe Smith for Vikings, Cecilia Futter for Saxons, Lucy Clark for Saxons, Aurora Jen Nagel for Vikings, and Lila Wilkinson for Saxons. And they are on the start line. Lots of Saxons there. They're eyeing up the prize. They can see the finish line. Cecilia is in the zone. Oh, they're all pointing. Look at them. This might be some war cry I haven't seen before. And they're off. The girls are off. Lucy, oh, there's a lost shoe, but she's keeping going. Lucy Clark. Lucy Clark is bounding towards the finish line, pumping those arms, followed by Shreya. So Lucy Clark in first place, Shreya in second place, Ooh. Chloe Smith, and then Aroha, Aroha lost a shoe and actually managed to keep going. So you can see there she's a, a trainer short. Oh, and there's another shoe lost as well. That was uh, Cecilia. Seems like the day to lose shoes. Leo, that's very good sportsmanship by Leo. As you, as you can see, one trainer down there. So let's. Where, is he, where does the other trainer go? Everything. Oh, what's going on? Just there, you can see. Oh, she just kicked it off. There we go. But brilliant run in there by Lucy Clark. I think she's already won one race this afternoon, so that might be her second second time on the podium in first place. So. We're going through this at a rate of knots, but Division 2 now. We've got Lane 1, Lucy Flat. Lane 2, Yasmin Kelsall. Lane 3, Ava Grace Summers. Lane 4, Harriet Higginson. Lane 5, Lucia Williams. Lane 6, Evie Clare. Lane 7, Chloe Dawson. And Lane 8, Ella Ward. So, Miss Robinson there, hands on hips. Like a little teapot. Now Waiting the, for them to start. The record for this particular race is a very, very long-standing record. Since 2004, set by M. Woodward. The record is 12 seconds and 2 milliseconds. And no, 20 milliseconds, may I say. Here we go. So the girls are ready. This, this is a very strong stance by Lucy Flat. Head down, arm up, ready to go. They're all ready. You can see. And the race is starting. The race and the girls are off. And we look like we've got Chloe Dawson and Lucia Williams. Lucia Williams looks like she, looks like she might be striding into the Mr. Brown urge and the girls on. But Lucia... Lucia, Chloe Dawson, and Ava Grace in third for the Britons. So actually, it looks like we've got a Saxons first and then a Britons second third, which is fantastic. So well done, girls. That was very, very quick again. 
what a wonderful performance here. You can really see Saxon striding out front. Miss Lorente must be very pleased. And the Britons, actually, oh, no, she's pointing. There we go, pointing. Chloe Dawson was pointing over the finish line. So, right, now we're on to Division 1. So, very quickly, because Miss Wilmington's getting them in line already. Lane 1, Evelina Janssen. Lane 2, Lottie Waterworth. Lane 3, Anira Cook. Lane 4, Cecilia Rivera. Lane 5, Jade Akinola. Lane 6, Evie Gilby. Lane 7, Tennessee Milkins. And Lane 8, Matilda Hewitt. Miss Robinson giving them some last-minute tips before they get ready to rock and roll. She's getting down. Looks like she's telling them to lean forwards when beginning. This must give them a nice start. Miss Robinson is waving the green flag, almost like it's a weapon. And in the background, you can see Alan on his lawnmower. Yeah, a member of the ground team. Right, here we go. The girls ready for the Division 1, 75 metres. The flag is up. The girls are ready. And we're about to start. Tension building. I'm excited. I am too. And it's off. And they're off. And Jade makes a very strong start. Jade is doing well. Matilda Hewitt on the near side also made a very strong start. But it looks like we've got... Oh, this is going to be close again. Jade closely followed by Cecilia. And actually... Oh, that's going to be very tight again. I do not envy Mr. Evans in this position. I feel very comfortable here in the commentary box without any of the controversy of having to decide the photo finishes. That looked very tight. It's going to be between Jade Akinola and Cecilia Rivera for the photo finish. It that looks like Lottie Waterworth may have got third place, but we'll confirm that shortly. As you can see on your screens there, Cecilia has gone for the lean forward, but is Jade's hand over? That is very tight. You can see from Mr. Evans's ooh face he pulled then. Lottie Waterworth definitely third place. Very close indeed. Even Mrs. Williams, you can see Mrs. Williams on screen there. She doesn't know what's going on. Nobody does. It, it, it could, for all we know, be a tie, which is very, very rare. Lottie Waterworth looks very happy on the bench. She's got third, but it's been confirmed. Cecilia with the dip at the end there just snuck in, it snuck in place of Jade. So Cecilia Rivera first place, I believe, although, or are they still checking? The this is like VAR. They've gone to VAR. It is, it we, is. Need, we need lines drawn on, don't we? We do. We need we need our own virtual assisted referee. Does, has someone signalled for VAR? We should get VAR. That's a pretty decent investment, I would say. Lottie is chuffed. Look how excited she is. Or maybe RLT, race line technology. That is unbelievable. I appreciate that as an English teacher. Oh, and the boys, we're off to the boys. Miss Robinson is not hanging back here. So, Angus Waitman, Leo Howes, Oliver Haswell, Pranav, James Cohen, Lucas he Erickson. This is Division 2, 75 metres. Boys, Pranav is ready to go. Uh, it looks like we've got Lucas Erickson is also ready to go. Andre is ready to go. Hmm. So, when did you learn to speak that fast? Oh, commentary school. Cool. Here we go, Pranav looking very determined, followed very closely by Haswell and Cohen, but Andre on the near side, it's going to be tight again. Ooh. Andre, Pranav, James Coe, Haswell, uh, Angus, and and Lucas Erickson. That was, that was very Close fast. Race I, I, there. You said I could speak fast. I couldn't speak as fast as those boys were going over the finish line. I don't think anybody could, sir. That was some stellar speed there. Very, very close. Yes, we can see here Andre first, Pranav, James Coe. What a brilliant race from him. Looks like James. And then Haswell in fourth. Oli Haswell in fourth. Oh, Angus and then Lucas. Now, we better go on to it quick because we know how speedily Miss Robertson's getting through them. So this is the Division 1, 75 metres. Lane 1 is Henry... Henry Sheik for Britons, then Zach Jones, then Harry Haswell, then Toby Allison, then Charlie Kuden, then Nan Jan Perstich, then Max Warlow, then Archie Haswell. Now, if the previous races with these boys is anything to go by, this is going to go very, very quickly. So strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. Why it's Grease Lightning. Oh, look at that. They're on the start line there. Henry Sheik looking very very up for this his arms out ready to go he's looking at the finish line a few of the boys sorting their hair out life's a catwalk it is when you have your hair done they all look very very ready you see the green flag is raised the race is about to start 
the boys are primed and ready to go. And they, they are off as a brilliant start by Haswell in the middle there. Toby Allison pumping those legs. Oh, this is very, very close. What a performance. Zach Jones is pushing hard, but Toby Allison just pulling ahead. Toby. Whoa, oh. Toby Allison definitely first place. Not and then it's sure. going to be, I think, between Zach Jones and Jan, possibly. But we're going to have another look at that on the replay. But Toby Allison in first place. There's no doubt about that. But we just need to double check. Who second. Second and third. Yeah, so as you can see, Toby pumping it. Fantastic race. All the boys very packed together there. So Toby goes over Ooh, the line in first. Oh, that is extremely tight. You, you possibly Jan's foot, maybe, with yeah. Zach Jones on the far side. Again, Mr. Evans pulls a ooh face, so it must have been tight. When Mr. Evans pulls the ooh face, you know it's going to be tight. So they'll be consulting RLT, Race Line Technology. Far left there, we see Miss Lorente, the head of Saxons. Mr. Evans is analysing this race, and he is saying whether he thinks is second. We can't actually see second right now, but Toby is definitely Jan. first. I think, I think it's Toby, and then I think it's Jan that we can't see because Mr. Evans has stood in the way, and then Zach Jones. Whether or not that's been confirmed by Mr. Moore on the iPad, I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to wait and see, but what a fantastic race. That was very, very fast. I don't think, actually, we said the record for that race. The record for that race was... It was oh, it actually goes back to 2005, so it predates you, Ollie. It was by F. Rivers. 12.2 seconds which is pretty quick. Two thousand and five. Now that is going to be difficult to beat. If it's been long standing that long, you know it's good. So now we're just waiting there for the boys whilst they get to catch their breath back. We're now looking at the high jump. I believe whilst we wait for these uh, these field events to finish, there will be a short break and then there'll be presentations for the uh, the year threes. And then we are going to conclude with the year three and four 50 meter house shuttle relay, which is always a lot of fun. Um, but we're looking at that, the high jump now here with the year fours. They're just getting some last minute pointers from the game stuff. No records broken on track. However, some stellar performances today. Some of those records were very, very hard to beat and I am not surprised. I mean, yeah, particularly ones that have been held since 2005 as obviously take some beating. Mm, and four. So we're just looking at the high jump here, and it looks like Alexia Svakianakis has gone to the middle of the screen, so it could potentially be her to go for the high jump, but we'll have to wait and see. Mr. Clark just sorting everyone out. Oh, no, it's Cecilia Sheldon. She's gone. Oh, fantastic jump by Cecilia. Lovely technique. Lovely clearance there. Flopped over the line there onto the mat. Cleared it. She did. I wish I could jump. Oh, here you go, Toyosi. Ooh, oh, unlucky. Unlucky, very unlucky. And Lex and Seb assist with the bar to put it back up. You can see Anne in the background getting ready to take photos. Uh, Mr. Richards there, Miss Robinson walking across. What a brilliant job they've done again, organizing all this today, mm -hmm. along with Mr. Evans. A lot of planning and preparation goes into today, so they've done a fantastic job. We also have to thank the maintenance team who made this whole thing possible, and Cheers, Cheers Make Productions who set this whole thing up. But the maintenance team prepped all the, um, all the grass, they made sure the track was nice. They, did. they really have done a stunning job. They have. The, the, the fields are looking beautiful. Even more they beautiful are. than they normally do today. But um, They do. We just saw Etty Whale there on the long jump. Fantastic jump for Normans. Here we see... Saxon about to jump. He's getting ready. He's bouncing up and down. Bobby Zoo got himself on the podium a couple of times on the on the track event. So let's see how he fares with the long jump. What that, a jump! That's a big jump. Bobby um, is really excelling today, and he is bounding back with the energy of youth. Here he comes again, Bobby. We'll see the replay here as he bounds down the track. Nice long strides, pumping those arms. Oof, yeah, very good jump there. Well done, Bobby. We're just looking here still at the, at the long jump. Seb Potate now. He's coming Seb up. Seb Pote. What good a jump, jump by as well. Seb. Very good jump, yep. These, but Mrs. Williams there sat at the end of the track, taking some photos. Mr. Davis measuring. Now we're back over to high jump. Salvador. Ooh, that's Very unfortunate. Close. That looks quite high. I'd say around one metre. Oh, I don't know. If I, I don't know. It's high. Here we go. Harry Hatcher on the long jump. Brilliant jump, jump, Harry. Solid. Does he look pleased with that, Ollie? What would you say? Does he look pleased? 
I'd say he seems to be analysing his result. He's he's not sure. He's like, meh, not sure. Ah, he's pleased. Look, he's running back. I think the most controversial thing about the long jump is that Mr. O'Connor isn't using technology to score. He's using a piece of paper. You know, that is surprising. He should have used the Google Doc. He, he, no, he should have used a spreadsheet, in fact. A sheet, a spreadsheet, or a Google? And then he should have made a chart. You know what you're talking about. That was a brilliant jump by Tommy Hodgson there. They're just measuring up. Jacob Spears ably assisted by Mr. Davis. I tried, I tried to pretend to know what I'm doing. Tommy doesn't look that chuffed with that jump. He's got his arms no. crossed, shaking his head. Should be very proud of himself, though. It was a good jump. Oh, right, here we go. Will Clary. Oh, that looks nice. Nice jump. Bit of a skip into the air. Dainty. Just waiting for these uh, these field events to finish, and then we will uh, obviously have the house shuttle relay. Now, some children in the houses may have to run twice, depending on house numbers on the day. So, obviously, looking at our sheet here, Vikings are uh, have more pupils in the house than the rest of them, and obviously it depends on if there are any absences. So, we'll have to wait and see. But here comes Alex L. Deeb on the long jump. Again, Alex has performed brilliantly on the track. So let's see how he performs on the field. He is off. Good jump, very far from Alex L. Deeb. He, he should be chuffed, and I think he is. He's looking, and he's pleased. He's running back. He wants another try. He thinks he can beat it, and I'm sure he can. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This looks like Hugh for the Britons. Hugh, arms pumping, legs. Moving. There we, moving, thank you, yes. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Well done, Hugh. That was a nice jump. Again, enough energy. To run round. Now we've got. Commentator school treated you well. Thank you very much, Ollie. Musa Shah. Head down, arms pumping. Nice little skip into the pit. Very nice. Elegant. And now we're going back over to the high jump where Lex Duffy looks like he's trying to practice his bowling technique. But Salvador comes around. Oh, that's a lovely jump by Salvador. Beautiful Brilliant technique. Clearance cleared it and Natey Butler kick now on the long jump what's the dancing going on by the Ithel boys I didn't know they had that in their locker but they're looking good here they go that's a good jump by Natey it is what tips would you have for the year for pupils doing the long jump now Ollie any any tips my tip would be to have a comfortable run up and to run fast and then jump far I think it's a pretty good tip. The game's long jump is to jump far. So, so your main tip is to jump far. You know, it's like this um, sheet I once got, which said, one way to read faster is to read faster. I mean, joking aside, I know you said to jump far, but Noah Freeman really did jump far. Then that he was did. A that was a fantastic jump. <laughs> it was stellar. A lot of bounce in his... Stellar. A lot of, a lot of bounce okay, in his jump there. Okay, year three, boys and girls. Right. We're going to we present our the track events. Um, first, second and third places. Uh, just check in, Mr. Carter... Can we actually while while we're here guys, Mr. Carter and Ollie Winston have done an incredible job speaking to your parents and family and friends. Should we give them a big round of applause? Oh, this is embarrassing. They're cheering us. Oh. Okay, now we won't give you your certificate now, we're looking after them. You will get them later, but we will get you up on the podium to get a big round of applause from your uh, classmates. So we're going to start with the Year 3 Girls 600 metre final. And in third place, we have Tennessee Milkins. Well done, Tennessee. Yeah, fan performance. Fantastic Fresh winning. from an injury, but can you get up on the podium, Tennessee? Yeah, good girl. Trainers in hand. In second place, we had Anira Cook. Anira, well done. First place. And in first place, Cecilia Rivera. Well done, Cecilia. She has been doing stunning today. She came first in almost three races. Told you that 2K practice would pay off. It has definitely paid off. She can now take home her gold medal and her mum will make her do five. Well done, girls. Look at those smiling faces. Lovely to see. Well done, girls. Brilliant. Next up, we've got the boys' 600 metre final. And in third place, Jan Pernstich. Yeah, well done, Jan. Jan's had a good afternoon running. Been in or around the podium all afternoon. In second place, Max Warlow. And Max as well. Always pushed hard, never gave up. And in first place, Toby Allison. Well done, Toby. He has also been doing a stellar performance today. 
big smile from the boys there as well. You never know, maybe Toby does running as well. I think but he might boys. do. Yeah, I think he does too. Okay, the the 150 girls, uh, Division 3, and in third place, Shreya Shitrapu. Shreya in third place. In second place, Yasmin Kelsa. Oh, look at that, clapping each other onto the podium. That's what we like to see. And in first place, Lucy Clark. Well done, girls, brilliant. Such a supportive attitude around here. Yeah, it's lovely to see, joking aside, lots, lots, of, lots of sportsmanship. They're all in different houses, but they're clapping and cheering each other on, which is really nice well to see. Girls. Well done, girls. You can be very proud of yourselves. The 150 metres, Division 2, in third place, Chloe Dawson. Well done, Chloe. Pointing to the finish line, she was, wasn't she? In second place, she was. Ava Grace Summers. She knows where she's got to go. She knows where she's got to go, yeah. Ava Grace, well done. And in first place, Lucia Williams. Well done, Lucia. Maybe I'll try pointing my next ones. Big smiles, big smiles. Well done, girls. One very proud mum there, I presume. Taking the photos, Mrs. Williams. Yes. Miss Williams, our head of marketing marketing big job there and she does a wonderful job of it mr richards the way he's holding the microphone and the like 75 and uh, sorry the 150 the meters popper. division one in third Possibly. place evie gilby visitor evie gilby third place well done evie. in second place jade akinola well done jade and in first place cecilia rivera yeah, I think this might have been the race where Cecilia, it was a photo finish and there was she, Cecilia just picked her into first place. So fantastic running by the girls. Mm, We've seen some brilliant finishes actually this afternoon. It's been, there's been well a I few guess. that have gone to photo finishes, which has been great. Close as the always, very boys, competitive. Boys, 150 metres, Division 2 in third place. James Coe. Well done, James Coe. In second place. Pranav Kurana. Pranav, well done, fantastic. I've just, you might have heard in the background there some noise from some first place, excited year Andre four girls as they walk past. Well done, year three boys, fantastic. And again, they're clapping each other on the podium, doing a brilliant job. Nice big smiles. Pranav looks chuffed. Well done, boys. Yeah, Andre, nice little smile. 150 there, metre Division One boys. In third place, Max Wallow. Well done, Max. I remember Max was chasing second place the entire way. In second place, Jan Pernstitch. Jan, Jan. Jan again, well done. Jan has been excelling today. I remember he was in a quite a... And in first finishes. place, Toby Allison. Toby Allison taking first again. Yeah, I think it's going to be very competitive between this year group throughout through the years. As they move through the school, they've done fantastically well. There's been some really well good done, races, boys. which is nice. Definitely. Now we go on to our shorter sprints, the 75 metres. The girls, Division 3, third place, Chloe Smith. Well done, Chloe. Congratulations on your incredible In place. second place, Shreya Shitrapu. Well done, Shreya. And in first place, Lucy Clark. Lucy takes it away. Saxons again. Miss Lorente must be chuffed. She is chuffed. Mr. Richards, obviously, well done, head of Vikings, so you'd hope there'd be some... Uh, Division 2, 75 metres in third place. Ava Grace Summers. Well done, Ava Grace. Congratulations there. They look very happy, don't they, Ollie? They, in they, second they place, Chloe Dawson. Well done, Chloe. It's the boundless energy of youth, sir. <laughs> and in first place, Lucia Williams. Well done, Lucia, again. Again, clapping each other on the podium. Big smiles. Look at those grins. They are smiling from That's ear to ear. And the Not 75 metres, Division 1, like third place, Possibly. Lottie Waterworth. Lottie Waterworth, well done, third place. Actually, this was very tight. This In finish, second I place, mm. Jade Akinola. Yes. And in first place, Cecilia Rivera. Cecilia yeah, so again. Jade and Cecilia, that infamous one two that we saw earlier on the podium. But, um, yeah, Cecilia takes first place for the Normans. They'll be delighted. Very well done, girls. Jade uh, Saxons in second place. Well done, girls. The boys, the 75 metres, Division 2. In but third place, neutral. James Coe. Yes, no, 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 biased. James Coe, third place. Well done, James. 
Well done, James. In second place, oh, Pranav Karana. Well done, well, Pranav. Pranav. Again, another second place, Pranav. And in first is place, Andre Bakur. And Andre in first place. Well done, Andre. He leaps nimbly onto that. Look at those smiles. They are all happily smiling. That's what it means to them. What well a boys. It, does. it just it just means that they've won their race and now they're These can score. 75 meters, Division One, third place, Zach Jones. Zach Jones, yeah, he ran really well, pushed all the way, Zach Jones, well done. Second place, Jan Pernstitch. Jan. Jan again on the podium, did a fantastic job. And in first place, Toby Allison. Toby Allison making his way onto the podium. Oh, he's still got energy to spring up there. Looks chuffed with that. Oh, holds oh. up the finger just to remind us. He's given himself the first place back. Really well done, boys. Well yeah, done, okay. Job, boys. Oh, he's done a stop rock and Big well done, all the boys and girls. We've got a short break now while we wait for the year four field events to finish off. So can you get yourself a drink? And we'll be finishing with our house relay very soon. You may have heard that over the microphone from Mr. Richards, but there's going to be a short break just as we wait for the year fours to finish up there field events and now would be a good opportunity for you at home to either grab yourselves a, a cup of tea maybe get yourself a slice of cake perhaps have something a celebrate celebratory glass or something if one of your Possibly. child's won an event today but yeah use this time to or a toilet break even go have, yes. a, have a short break um McVitie's chocolate digestive other brands are available um but yes mate, have a short break and then we will be returning to do the house shuttle relay for the Britons, the Normans, the Saxons and the Vikings, which will conclude the HXP Lower School Sports Day 2021. So thank you for joining us so far, but more been, to come. It has been an awesome experience for everybody involved.
Hello and welcome back. We've got most of the pupils back over now for the presentation. Hopefully you have been fed and watered and everything you needed to in that break. Hope you had a good break, just grabbed a cup of tea, biscuit. I actually had a running race with uh, Mr. Winterton in the break. And I won. So just waiting for the pupils to congregate. You can see there on your screen, Mr. Evans getting them together in an orderly fashion. Um, some of the pupils went off for a quick comfort break, so they're just returning from the main school building. So we should be in a position shortly to start the house shuttle relay. Now, obviously, we've got the Britons, the Normans, the Saxons and the Vikings. For those of you who are perhaps new to the school or our relatives, the Britons are, are red, the Normans are green, the Saxons are yellow and the Vikings are blue. There seems to be quite a few more Vikings than Saxons, Britons and Normans. It does, but what will happen is that the pupils in the other houses, some of them might have to run twice depending on house numbers of the day. So it might be that the Britons, Normans and Saxons have to elect people to run more than once, but we shall see. From the list I can see that in 18th is Toyosi for Saxons, who's been doing very well the sports, so hasn't she, Mr Carter? She's done fantastically well, yeah, very, very fast. She's got herself on the podium for a couple of races. He has. This is quite nice, isn't it? This is like almost story time with Mr Evans. It is, it is. Mr. Evans does great stories, I find. What, what story do you think he's reading? If you know, if we, we can't hear what he's saying from our place in the commentary booth. What story do you think he might be reading to them, Ollie? I think he's doing Little Red Riding Hood to Never Give Up Hope. Uh, he has told me before that's his favourite book, so it wouldn't surprise me. Mm. Mr. Brown in the background, you can see there with his brolly. And you can see that the brolly is closed, which means that we have, for now, avoided the rain. Fingers crossed we can get through <laughs> these last few minutes of the sports day there is, th oh, there is mr evans again he has just finished little red riding hood and he's smiling so he hasn't got quite got to the bit where the wolf comes ah uh, the kids the kids all look very pretty so he obviously he's i think i think he's going to do the nice version i think he, he's a nice man mm. anyway we have held out on rain so far no rain has been coming however there is a big big dark cloud coming our way Got Mr. Brown there, Mrs. Williams in the background, Mrs. Waterworth, one of the year three teachers. Uh, who else have we got there? Oh, Mrs. Muston with her hood up, that's why I didn't recognise her. Mrs. Lee's now walking behind the podium, so the, all the lower school team here. Mrs. Seaton and Mrs. Munro are here somewhere as well, they're just off camera. As I say, all the lower school staff out here to support the pupils in the lower school. The shuttle race is just a bit of a calm down, it's just a bit of fun. There's no real competitiveness however everybody will just run their hardest they all want to win but it's just a bit of fun there'll be a, a lot of screaming and shouting i imagine when it begins i mean i remember we used to do it with the teachers and adults and i remember mr evans always used to try it because he jogged instead of run run oh, excuse uh hang on sorry as an english teacher run yeah okay that that wasn't a word but we can think of something better ran yes that's what i said before okay Sprinted. Oh, that's a good word. Dashed. Dashed. Zoomed. That's good. I think we could think of a better word than good. Fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> Warp speed. Very quick indeed. Okay, it now looks like Mr. Evans is speaking to them again. We can't hear what he's saying, so we'll just have to make it up. So, well done, boys and girls. You've all done fantastically pump those arms however the little wolf then went into grandma's house now I th i'd imagine uh, he is congratulating them all for their efforts this afternoon not only their um, athletic efforts but also the, you know the sportsmanship we've seen on show the enjoyment the encouragement that they've been given to each other um, and just the general spirit in which they've they've participated in today's event so they could all be all the boys and girls in lower school can be immensely proud of the way that they've conducted themselves. Again, not just athletically, but in terms of their sportsmanship and everything else that comes with it. Mm, uh, they must be very, very proud. Today has been a long day, and I'm sure they are very tired, but performances have been incredible, and we are waiting to hear any records. Actually, no, sorry. No records have been broken, unfortunately. Not on the, not on the track events. We're, we're yet to hear from the field events, but the track events, no records were broken, unfortunately. However, field events, there is still a high possibility. There is indeed. That's nice as well. You, you know, you're looking around here. 
there are other members of staff who aren't you know necessarily directly affiliated with lower school who have still come out to support the event so i can see you know just to the right there as, as the camera pans out you can see mr myers allen obviously he's going to be a year six tutor next year but also teaches some of the year five so he'll, he'll get to know some of the year fours better next year as mr brown there, mrs williams mrs waterworth uh, mrs lee as well Mrs. Muston there, looking directly at the cameras if she knows. Mrs. Clark, Miss Sharp, the gapper. And then if we if we pan all the way around to the right near the, the blue tent over here, you might, you know, as the camera pans all the way around, there we've got uh, Mr. Piper, Mr. Davis with his medical bag. That's it, that's, that's the nurse. Oh, there we go. Mr. Richards, obviously, who's, who's been, um, you know, fundamental in organizing this event mr johnson mr davis finishing his sandwich mr piper <laughs> finishing his sandwich uh, mr stevens who is again you know as we said it before has been incredibly important in totting up the scores and they do the really important bits and as you can see mr richards has got the important piece of paper as he strolls over should be in a golden envelope really shouldn't it it should it should be in one of those um charlie Ch and chocolate factory envelopes uh, yeah, and it should be dry eyes as he's walking towards the presence. We, maybe we can pitch this to Mr. Brown for next year. We could. We could get him to invest in flame. We should. Oh yes, we should get him to invest in those flame torches on um, Ninja Warrior. Pyrotechnics, health and safety. We'll have to do a risk assessment. Yes, we will. Okay. Well, we can just stick 100 CO2 extinguishers. We'll be fine. Anyway, you'll be delighted to hear ladies and gentlemen at home that when Mr. Richards comes to the presentation, we will be quiet and you'll be able to listen to his dulcet tones instead. Enough of us. I mean, very good, all sat there very patiently around Mr. Evans. You hear the bell in the background there that's gone for the, the start of period six for lessons. So the pupils just sat waiting. Maybe there's some last minute conferring to be done. They've gone over to the ball throw. Oh, controversy. Perhaps there's been a bit of a close call. Uh, Mr. Evans, I can just hear a ripple of applause. They're actually applauding the year sevens that you can see lined up there in their tracksuits. So the lower school pupils are uh, giving their thanks and appreciation to the year seven pupils. There they are. They've been a, a fantastic help. They're, they're a good bunch, the year sevens. They, um, they muck in, they've got a good sense of humor, but they, uh, yeah, they work hard. So they've been fantastic in helping and encouraging. Um, and obviously, you know, massive thanks to Ollie as well, who's, who's sat next to me on comms, done a fantastic job. Thank you. So have you, sir, you've done a very good job means a lot coming for you Ollie. thank you no, the year sevens have been great so thanks to them and uh mr evans is now addressing the year three and year four pupils again and it looks like mr richards is coming with his very important piece of paper there he is there he is you Look can at almost that. visualize the pyrokinesis happening uh, oh hey oh what's going on there i don't know what he's doing there but I anyway he's sprinting the five meter race he's got the microphone Maybe he was waiting for like an entrance song, theme song to come on. Yes, or he was waiting for us to load the drawers. True. Doing his laces now. Right. We will hand over now to Mr. Richards to do the presentation. Okay, boys and girls, and to everybody at home, uh, we've got the field events. Shh, thank you. The field events results hot off the press. Now, this is a good one because some of us don't actually know how we've done because you might have been competing in a different event. So it will come as a surprise. Um, we're going to do these. I'm sure Mr. Evans just explained this and then go into our house relays, hopefully before it rains. So we can do a so, field event presentation now. Year three ball throw. Year three ball throw. Thank you. In third place. This is for the girls, sorry. Year three girls ball throw. Shreya Shidrapu. Shreya Shidrapu in third place. Where's Shreya? Do you want to come up? Ball throw. Stellar performance. Well done to her. Well done, Shreya. Come up, Shreya. Are oh, you on there? Yeah, Shreya. Third place. Yeah, ball throw. In second place, Lucia Williams. Well done, Lucia. Lucia, second place. And in first big place, place, Chloe Dawson. Big smiles from Lucia. And in first place, Chloe Dawson. Well done, Chloe. Large grin on her face. She's chuffed. You have to remember that at playtime, Molly. Well done, girls. Throwing ball, so don't get in their way. Now, the year no, three Lisa. boys yeah, ball terrifying. throw in third place. Max Warlow. Max Warlow finding his way on the podium again. The year three boys ball throw. Well done, Max. In I second place, Charlie Kudin. Intimidating. 
Charlie Kieran. Well done, first Charlie. place, Toby Allison. Toby, what a fantastic afternoon he's had. Not only on the track, but also on the field now. First place in the ball throw. Well done, Toby. He might do throwing as well. Well done, boys. Okay, we'll go on to the year three girls high jump. In third place, Matilda Hewitt. Oh, the high jump, well done, Matilda. In second place, Ava Grace Summers. Ava Grace, fantastic, well done. And in first place, Evie Gilby. Evie Gilby, now we saw some shots of her doing the high jump, so well done, Evie. Bit of a high jump in itself to get on top of the podium. Big smiles all around from the girls, well done. Well done, girls. Like the boys year three can. high jump in third place, Charlie Cuden. Charlie Cuden again. Well done, Charlie. In second place, Lucas Erickson. Well done, Lucas. Oh, the Normans are happy. And in first place, Toby Allison. Toby again. Quite, there's some quite potent wind here. I think it's, it's, isn't there? Uh... Well done, boys. Uh, we're going to year three, girls, long jump. In third place, Tennessee Milkins. Long jump, Tennessee, third place, well done. Tennessee a place. In Milka, second Hershey place, was. Harriet Higginson. Harriet Higginson, second place, well done. And in first place, Cecilia Rivera. Oh, Cecilia, she's done, again, some fantastic running on the, the track event, but to finish on the podium for the field event as well is brilliant. Well, well, done, done, well done, girls. We'll go to the year boys. Uh, sorry, year three boys long jump in third place. Jan Pernstedt. Well done, Jan. Jan has been excelling today on multiple. Very in close second calls place, event. Andre Bakur. Andre now second. The Normans are actually doing quite well on the podium. And in they first are. place, Max Warlow. Max Warlow, well first place. Well done, Max. Again, good. Good shows of determination this afternoon. And look at him. He's on the top of the podium and he's smiling. Beaming radiating him. Well done, year threes. We'll go into the year four and we'll start with long jump. So the girls in third place, Florence Ward. Long jump this is for year four, Florence Ward. In second place, Lexi Ford. Lexi Ford in second place. And in first place, Amelia Bjorn. Amelia Bjorn in first place. Congratulations to her. Yeah, well done, girls. They are all beaming very happily. Big smiles, yeah. Well done, girls. Year four boys long jump in third place. Tommy Hodgson. Tommy Hodgson, well done. Survived that fall in his uh, in second place. To pull off third Alex L. Deeb. Well Alex L. Deeb second. He's done well for the Saxons. They'll be pleased. And in first place, Harry Hatcher. Well done, Harry. Yeah, well done, Harry. We saw some good action from him with the long jump. Happy chaps. Happy indeed. Big smiles. Well done, boys. Big smiles all around here. I haven't yet seen a frown. Uh, the year four place. high jump. For the girls in third place, Toyosi Akinola. Toyosi, again, you, you mentioned it earlier, she's had a fantastic day she on the has. track. And now in second place, Alexia Svakinakis. Great work, Alexia, well done. And in first place, Cecilia Sheldon. Cecilia in first place, congratulations to her. You'll be chuffed with that, it's another big smile. Oh, look at that hop up onto the podium. Graceful. I'd put, I'd put my back out if I tried that. Me too, sir. Well done, girls. Oh, On to the boys' high jump. In third place, Josh Butler King. The high jump, third place. Joshua Butler King, well done, In Joshua. second place, Alex Long. Alex Long has had a good day on the track as well, and now finishing in second. And in podium. first place, Carl Zhang. Carl, well done, that's superb. The Normans will be happy. Carl, first place. Excellent work, Kyle. Big smiles for the boys. Very, very chuffed there. Bit of a mix up there. Norman, Viking, Saxon. Right and pushing. finally for year four field events, the ball throw. In third place for the girls, Lexi Ford. Ah, Lexi. She's been doing very well today. She is also a Briton. In second place, Amelia Bjorn. 
Oh, Amelia Bjorn was on the podium last time. Right, she's up again in second place. And in first place, Cecilia Sheldon. Cecilia Sheldon again reaching that podium. Very, very happy. Another dainty jump. Big smiles. Big. Well done, girls. And finally, for the boys, ball throw, year four, in third place, Alex Long. Alex Long, third place, boys, ball throw. Congratulations to him. He has had a very, very good day. In second place, Seb Pote. Second place, Seb Pote. He's also been doing very well. And in first place, Harry Hatcher. First place, Harry Hatcher. Congratulations to him. See, Harry's done very well in the field events. He'll be very proud of himself. Good efforts. He has. Picked up a good few points for the Britons, so they'll be pleased after your comment about not being on the podium the previous time. Harry's clawed them back into it, perhaps. He does, and Lexi. And, and Lexi, yeah. Should be very close. Actually. Okay, right. Well done, winners. boys and girls. Yes. We've got exactly. our one final win. event, which is our house relay, and this counts as double points, double okay, points. for your house. Double so, points for the house relay. This it could, could be all be to play for. Can I ask that the year threes first go over to where the staff are at the start line there? the year three setting off to their starting positions in the houses this will get very competitive this will get very noisy it should be very close so it's double points on the line so actually if there is one house who's currently out in lead in the lead this gives the other houses a good chance to catch them up so we'll have to wait and see but double points on offer for the house relay so you can see there the year threes have headed up to their starting positions the year fours currently waiting for their instruction warning loud sounds included our reliable year sevens are on the finish line with the flag so what will happen is that they will raise the flag you should see them on there on the right of your screen the year sevens will have the flags raised in the air and then when um, it's safe to go they'll drop the flag and the next person then goes so it's not a not a traditional relay which is back and forth they're all running in one direction and the year sevens will drop the flag to indicate when it is safe for them to run so just a bit of a delay whilst we wait for the year threes and fours to get positioned into their running orders on the start line. You can see them there. So we've got Miss Twigger sorting out the Britons, Mr. Evans sorting out the Normans, uh, Miss Sharp sorting out the Saxons, and Mr. C Jeez. sorting out the Vikings. And there's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of dance moves. I've seen uh, I've seen you popping some of those dance moves at the school discos, Ollie, actually. I, I have been renowned for my ability to dance. You dance, yeah. You can dance. Lot and the Britons look up for this. There's a lot of jumping up and down and moving. Mm. Who's that for the Saxons? That Andre is looking. Yeah, he's practicing his jumping. You can't quite see, but if there they are. There are the Year Sevens. They've been superstars. So from we've got Flora, Sammy, Seb, Lex, Jacob, Seb, and Ariane on camera. Daniel should be running into shot now. Um, and there are others behind the scenes. So Rosie Dobbs, you can't quite see, and Ollie obviously next to me. So these Year Sevens have been fantastic, but they will be on the finish line. There's Rosie just there coming. Might into even the ask them. Um, year Sevens, give us a wave. Seb heard the command to wave. The others didn't. It's fine. And they are all waving now at the wrong camera. Um, there you go. Well done, Seb. Right. So, Mr. Richards is getting himself into position as well. The pupils at the other end of the track are in position. They're lined. They look like they're, they've calmed down a bit. And this could be close to starting. Mr. Richards is sending the Year 7s into their position. Miss Robinson is coming over to take charge of the clipboard. What a way to finish what's been a brilliant afternoon. Thanks again for joining us. It's been a brilliant event of or showcase of athletics you can see all the year threes they are waiting they are excited they just they i think quite a lot of kids look forward to this part of the day yeah it's a nice way to finish the sports day it is it is really so the year threes and fours together for this event and as i said previously some children will have to run twice depending on the house numbers so it might be that someone finishes the race and then has to go all the way back to the beginning again to conclude that for their house. So we shall wait and see. I'm waiting with bated breath. Agreed. Maybe this gives some houses a slight edge, but it's quite hard to tell. It is hard to tell. There you go. There you go. So lots of Normans crowding around Mr. Evans. He looks like he's making some decisions here, possibly about who's going to run twice. As you can see, there's a lot of eagerness and enthusiasm about who's going to take 
the gauntlet for that. Bobby Zoo moving to the front for the Saxons there, being instructed by Miss Sharp. A lot of dancing in the background. The Vikings seem specially engaged in this particular occasion. There seems to be two girls doing a routine, synchronised dance with tracksuit tops on their heads. Yeah, we need to get practising, Ollie. We do, sir. You know, that's what we should do for the fire side. I'll get back to you. Anyway, you can see now Miss Sharp is directing where they're supposed to go. I feel like we could be seeing the classic point hand over the line to where I need to go. Okay, so obviously stay neutral because you've explained that you're a Norman. Yes, I am. Who, who's, who's you, who are you predicting to be victorious here? I would think... Hmm, difficult question. However, I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and I'm going to go Brins, Brins. They've been doing well today, so I see there's no reason they could lose now. Interesting. Yeah, it's been, it's been very close, actually. There's been a good spread of the houses on the podium, so this should be very close. However, there are also Saxons who have been doing very, very well. Yeah, you look at each house, and actually there's there's people in each house who have been on the podium for, for different races, so actually this could be very tight. We'll have to wait and see. It will be. Mr Evans just given final instructions, pointing out down to the Year 7s letting the year threes and fours know where they need to run. He's informing them that when the flag drops, they, the next person runs. And only when the flag drops. Just overheard Mr Richards there reiterating no cheating to the year sevens. I'm sure they would never. So the flags have been raised by the Year 7s, which signals that they are ready. There they are. And you can see the, actually the extent of the wind by the way in which the flags and the bunting is billowing. And Miss Taverner looks very, very cold. She does look very... I mean, yeah, the summer term. And look at it. We're sat here in full tracksuits. Yes. Right. The disgusting. flags drop. So we are off. And oh, there's a bit of confusion there. Harry started and stopped, but Bobby is pushing on. And so you should see the flags drop as when they cross the line. So the Saxon's flag is dropped. And now we're back up again to the race, so here we go. We're looking at the flags, and actually the Saxons look like they are in the lead. They've started very strongly, followed by the Britons, followed by the Normans, followed by the, the Vikings. Vikings. And the Saxons, ah, but here we have it. The Normans chasing, I think it's Haswell who is chasing well done, the Saxons down, followed closely by the Britons. Oh, have taken the lead. Oh, have taken this the lead. is oh, close. The Saxons just ahead of the Normans, followed by Britons, followed by Vikings. Now, Harriet Higginson, but Cecilia Rivera has overtaken her. So the Normans have got into the lead and then the Saxons. Oh, fantastic comeback. It is very tight. Andre, Andre has clawed it back for the Saxons. He's now in the lead. It's very tight and it looks like the Britons just bringing up the rear here. Got to wait and see. Much speed from the Saxon here. Oh, Lottie Waterworth, followed closely by Charlie Kewden. That's that's fantastic running from those two. Max Warlow and then the Normans, Britons. Normans are back in front. Jan Pernstich has done a fantastic job in dragging the Normans back into the lead. So it's a bit of a ding-dong between Normans and Saxons at the moment. Jan has. With the Normans just in the lead. And actually, Haswell is extending that lead. Well done, Haswell. Oh, there's a cap that's getting in the way of the Saxons there. And in fact, the Britons have taken into second place. And the Normans are still in front so the Normans in front. front followed by the British Luke Graves is doing a sterling job he's dragging the Vikings back into it he's chasing down second place so the Saxons now they've gone from first to last place and so now we've got the Normans who's being led by Tommy Hodgson but Amelia Bjorn is bombing down that track for the Vikings and she and Tommy are very close indeed Saxons just in last place but Toyosi is to come Toyosi hurtling out the box Richard Meller is in the lead for the Normans, followed by Lexi Ford. Toyosi goes into third, Daisy Fairham for fourth. This is tight, Ollie. This is very tight. Normans are still in front here, closely followed by Britons. Then it seems to be Saxons and then Vikings. However, Saxons seem to be edging and Vikings is overtaken. This is very, very close. Normans are now up front by a bit, but second and third is close. Saxons and Britons, Saxons and Vikings even pretty much neck and neck. Britons slowly being left behind. 
However, this is definitely very, very close. Oh, Connie Lund closely chasing uh, Will Clary, Diogo Costa, and Salvador in fourth place. This is going to be very tight. Joshua Butler King is in the lead. Alex Eldim is hunting him down. Kyle Zhang. And there's been a little tumble for the Britons, right. but Florence is up on her feet. She's absolutely fine, and she's she's uh, carrying on. And now Musa is in the lead for the Saxons. Musa has taken the lead for the Saxons, followed by Leon O, and then Ewan Doherty. So this is super tight. Isla Reid, so the Britons actually one lap behind. So Isla Reid, followed by Omar, followed by Jad, and then it's Noah Freeman. And now this is it. This is it. This is the final person for the Saxons. It's Bobby Zoo. Bobby Zoo will bring it home for the Saxons. And Bobby wins followed for the Saxons. Followed by followed Eddie by... Whale, followed by Sebi Pose, and Harry Hatch is doing a superb job, not giving up. And the Britons are coming in fourth. And you can see the replay here. Isla Reid did a brilliant job in dragging the Saxons over the finish line here, followed by Omar for the Normans. And you can see the team sitting patiently there, Jad. And then this should be the final sprint. You can see Bobby Zoo like a rocket out of the blocks there. He has been doing very well. He is so quick. You can just see. Perhaps we should and call him Bobby Zoom. He, you know, that's his new name, Bobby Zoom. And then Brit and then Norman's Britons. No, Norman's Vikings. Yeah, yeah Britons. fantastic. And you can see quite why that's a brilliant race. And you can see them all on the track there waving at you. Yeah. Mums and dads and everyone at home, relatives. They're all waving. They're all waving at you there. They've had a great time. Have you had a good time? They're very They've pleased. had an average time. No, it's been a they've, they've, joking aside, they've all done fantastically well. They've they've run their socks off, they've thrown their gloves off. They've jumped their feet uh, off. They've but they've done brilliantly. They've, they've jumped out of their skin. They've jumped out of their skin. They've done it with such enthusiasm as well. You can see the smiles now. It is starting to rain, but that it hasn't deterred anyone. They've done fantastically well, so um, yeah, we're really proud of them all, but, and I'm sure you, you guys at home are as well. You can almost say it's perfect timing. It's only started raining now, and we've just finished. You can see the podium on the left. And that is, there you go, the podium. So we're just waiting for uh, Mr. Richards and Mr. Brown and Mr. Evans to adjudicate the scores. But I think from our position, yeah. it looked like the Saxons won that one. I it does. I think followed by the Normans and then yes. the Vikings and the Britons. But fantastic. The rain is starting to come down now. So you might see a few in cricket in terms. The covers are on. Yes. One of my favorite cricket puns is get a new maid. This one can't sweep. Okay, boys and girls, can we be quiet? So I'll be nice and quick, because it is just starting to rain. Um, I'm going to say a huge thank you to everyone who has helped today, and a huge round of applause for yourselves, for the staff, uh, for our commentators, and for our camera crew up at the top. Now, I'm going to try and whiz through these, okay? So we've got prizes, third, second, and first, for the individual point awards, uh, for the year three girls and boys, and the year four girls and boys, and then the overall victor and victrix for the day for the lower school. So, if you'd like to come up and get your uh, medal, the under eight girls in third place, Anira Cook. In second place, Lottie Waterworth. And in first place, Cecilia Rivera. Well done to those girls, standing there smiling. Well done, Very our year done. three girls. Year three boys in third place, Jan Pernstich. Well done to Jan, he's been doing very well today. Yeah, he's had a good afternoon. In second yeah. place, Max Warlow. Max Warlow in second. Yeah, fantastic displays of uh, commitment and resilience. And, and in first place, I think this comes as no surprise, Toby Allison. Well done, Toby. He has really really been doing well today yeah and he's happy about it that big smile mr brown giving him his medal now lots of positivity here well done to our year three boys lots of sportsmanship positivity. The year four well done, girls boys. in third place amelia bjorn amelia bjorn year four girls third place well done to her well done amelia she's smiling in second place toyosi akinola toyosi well done some excellent running on the track. And in Three. first place, Cecilia Sheldon. Well Cecilia, done, Cecilia. Fantastic. 
she excelled in the field events, as I recall. Well done, Year 4 girls. Obviously, their last low school sports Well done to our Year 4 girls. Year five. Uh, yes. Finally, Year 4 boys in third place. Sebastian Pote. Sebastian well, Pote. Well done, Seb. Fantastic. He's got energy to run. In to second to place, Harry Hatcher. Harry Hatcher had a phenomenal achievement on the, on the field for Harry Hatcher. So, well done, Harry. And in first place, Alex Long. Well done, Alex. Yeah, Alex, good performances all round from Alex. The Saxons will be pleased. Good split there, Alex. Up on top of the podium for the Saxons. This is a medal for Mr. Brown. Well done, boys. Again, their last sports day in lower school before they move to year five in September. Big year. OK, now our overall Victor and Victrix Lodorum goes to the individual in the whole of the lower school who earned the most points. And they will receive the Victor and Victrix Lodorum Cup. Uh, so, for the boys, the junior victor for 2021, with a massive 40 points, Toby Allison. Well done, Toby. I think, perhaps unsurprisingly, he's been a, yeah, he's performed phenomenally this afternoon and across all events, so well deserved, Toby. He looks chuffed with that. Central. Trophy above his head. The crowd go wild. And our junior victrix, with 32 points this year, was a tie. So, Ooh, Cecilia Very Rivera tie, and yeah. Cecilia Shelder. Two Cecilias take the victress. Now that is unheard of. They share a name, now they've got to share the prize as well. So fantastic, Cecilia Sheldon in year four and Cecilia Rivera in year three. Absolutely superb girls, that's something to be hugely proud of. So well done. Now, the overall Five house points. points for the lower school before we get soaked. Uh, these will be added to the middle school and the upper school, but for the lower school, in fourth place was the Vikings. The so Vikings in fourth place. Remember, this is just for lower schools. So this will be in added on third the place. The, the Britons. Days. Britons third. Britons third. In second place, the Normans. Well done, the so Normans. first place, the Saxons. Saxons taking away first place. Congratulations to them. They have performed stunningly today. But don't okay, forget. Okay, just to finish happens. off. Sit down. Sit down. Can we just give Mr. Richards a big round of applause for organising the whole event? Yeah, well done, Mr. Richards. A lot of work has gone into this. It has. And definitely. I hope everyone at home and maybe around the world really enjoyed this afternoon. It's been absolutely brilliant and we've just made it before the rain starts. So thank you very much indeed. Thank you. I think that's probably going to conclude the day. The, the rain's coming down as Mr. Brown's as Mr. Brown's just alluded to. The rain is starting to come down, so I think the pupils are getting their instructions. They're going to head indoors now. Um, just to echo what Mr. Brown said, thank you very much for you all to, for joining us this afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed it at home. Um, the, the pupils have done fantastically well. Uh, so thank you once again to Ollie, and thank, thank you. you to you at home for joining us. Thank you for joining us. We will see you when we next see you. Have a good afternoon. Goodbye. England have won this one, 22 points to six. Electric out the blocks. Oh, have completed the greatest of comebacks. Gallant for God break Callum. The 2018 champions, the London Monarchs.